Ha, let's go. We're going to grind this a little bit here. We've got uh, a little bit of gamer sups in the Gatorade today. Let's take a sip and see how this tastes. Here's the first day of gamer. <laughs> Not terrible. A little strong. I don't know if I would call that pineapple. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Just a little pineapple. It's a little strong. It's a little strong. It's a little bit strong in there. Those colors match pretty fucking well. For what we had before to what we have now. Oh yeah, keyframe interval is 0.999. We recommend two. We're gonna play a regular, regular, regular one first before we get in competitive gaming. Right now, we're about to put on this show. It's a show time, motherfucker. It's a show time. Don't look at me like that. Look at me like crack. Ooh, we weren't even through that, huh? That's why. Let's get back to this. Hours into the flight, the mid-air chaos shows no signs of slowing down. There was another situation that occurred with um, Rick Flair and me that was very uncomfortable. We're in this Sometimes game. that's a joke. What I've Rick seen, Flair, nothing down on there room, scares me. Did not wear anything else and walk that aisle like Rick Flair and then open it up and whoo. That's the big thing I want to see. This is my favorite part. So we get it on the airplane for everybody. And uh, that's what the guys want to see. That's what makes them laugh. He can move his hips, twirl it. And so it's well endowed penis. It's not in my DNA. It's around like color. So I'd say he's a nature boy for a reason. He's got a hammer on He's locked the party. And we know that we know where I like this part. Go to your own safe place. Let's find something or good. You don't know the rules. Except the deep water. That was the gallery. The gallery's where I the location. Rick Flair was making an escape only, and then he decided to come back to the gallery and get out. And he wouldn't leave the gallery. He was the First blood on the Instead of not going to try to impose by force and sexual stuff on to anybody um he's just flaunting style and their profile and doing like the rick fair stuff where everybody's going to laugh about it we've got a minute until the big club i remember him crowding the flight attendant like in the aisle way back there by the bathroom where it's a girl skinny and and he gave me the thing of, I don't, I don't know how long, um, it felt like a really long time, it wasn't short, like it was, it was minutes. Not far from the ring, half a minute. I don't remember somebody really helping me except one, I believe, gold, gold dust. You have the vibe. I do believe he should be told to the red flag. He should leave me alone eventually. Ten seconds until the ring closes. Well, we can take it up and down. Fine, that's okay, I'm sure.
You did your best to make it, and your best was really, really Dark bad. side of the brain returns. It just got crazier and crazier. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Scrappy. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Have a good day. Hey. I was trying to pack a bowl, and you guys dropped hot. Funny that I say this is too far. Dark side of the brain. New episode Thursday at 9 on Vice. Let's talk with Scott Hall for a second. What's his state at this point? Scott's issues have been well documented. He's documented. He had issues with substance. We were not doing him any favors to put him back on the road. So he reset his uh, routines. We didn't do justice. But we didn't know how bad it was. Uh, and, and for those that we should have known, well, we didn't. If you don't know until you see it, you interact with it. Wait, what? What's the matter? Scott Hall had just woken up. Show up. We've got a job to do, so shift your carcass. Uh, don't say Gary, that one's a switch back. He was a man of great. Violation, discomfort to have a person put their hands on you without wanting them to do that. It's not like no one does it. If you pick up a little fear when you're there to do a job, you're doing a job. I'm and the job right master. There. Now you see me. And then he passed out. And I thought I was able to, you know, dislodge him. I think that Kurt needs long. This might be a good place to land. Heard that. After that happens. Get ready. Moving up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. After spending a total of 14 nightmarish hours on the plane, the weary passengers and crew finally touched down on American soil. When they landed back at the door, it was a very, very excellent feeling to not be able to get back to the door. Oh, Black boots, pillows, drinks, cups, boots stepped on. The normal flight, the best by pre work. In this well, this wasn't quite so. Uh, uh, Scott was with his doctor. First blood, good thing it's not us. You know, I'm the only real here. Let's go down, forget that. Don't kick out. I think someone's been here. Someone's picking him up, and uh, I had to uh, get up a wheelchair and literally take him through customs myself. I put the sunglasses on him, laid him there, and he just kind of, you know, yeah, there are I had to get his passport, had to say that he had some kind of condition, and uh, there I am wheeling razors through, uh, you know, customs, and he was lost, and black hat on, and just looking at me with disgust, and I'm like, ah, I'm here, wheeling him, so I didn't do it. Once we landed, I blazed. You know it just does. We got to watch each other's back. He was hell bent to find out who did it. You know who did it. Let's give him my shields and recharge. We're all inside the ring. Good. Seriously, 
know you need to clean the airplane. Look out! Enemy here! Quick lamb and I gotcha! That is not a filter, man, just a little. To get back to the States, the FBI would have been waiting for us. They should have been more of a fashion for sure. They should have been something. I don't know, maybe that was a fashion by learning later. That would have been waiting for us. They should have been more repercussions for sure. They should have been some. I don't know, they did have repercussions, I learned later. They were only, I think, in like, many of them had to do something, you know, because it's not a real vote for an interesting man's organization, I think. But it was a, it was a black. Good thing about a black. Sign the brain. Return. It just got crazier and crazier and looked too into it. But even more hidden truths. She's schizophrenic. That's some serious sh. And untold secrets. I'm gonna have an exploding brain mass back. This was insane. Is somebody gonna say this is not too far? Now it's time to worry. New episode, Thursday at 9. On Fox. Shortly after landing, Vince McMahon and Jim Ross urgently meet to discuss repercussions for the flight's most egregious acts. Just couldn't believe everything was getting out of control with Vince on the flight, you know, but um, it did, it got out of control. I don't know, I don't know what Vince was doing the rest I wonder what. Vince is well aware, but it was my job to handle it. That's why I'm still embarrassed about this very day. It was my job. Two man. Vince McMahon makes the decisions, but Jim Ross is the one who has to This is gonna Jim be Ross a good guy fight. To fire you as well. Jim Ross is the guy who has to tell you that you're messing up. He's the guy who has to find you. Um, that's that position. Underestimate and pay the price. That's, that's the because it's what Vince McMahon told me. Trust your senses. Embrace the hunt. Trouble by Kurt the firing. Thought he had a bad voice. Introducing your champion. He had a reputation of being a practical choker. Vince had enough of it. And kind of figured maybe, okay, Kurt got fired, but he's going to come back and circle his way around at some point. But she would have, I'm sure. But he was the way. I'm the jump master. No straying now. And I guess I think it's just his drug addiction that kind of made him this. We let Scott go. Let's land here. Let's land here. Okay. I was told to cut him. So I called him in the hole. I said, I say we land here. You're not ready to get back on the road. And so you're Lovely better to sit in and your demons. We need to put you back in your comfort zone. We should be at home. Okay. Get ready. Moving up. Dustin Rose is one of my favorite people. Remember that? My favorite support from Harry. What a piece of music. No place. No excuse. First so, blood. You know, he was a good one. No. He used to see that vision. I have two options. Find him. No, get his attention. Rings close and in one. Because I thought it was extreme. Did not need it. That's the right point. Because it stays. He was immature. He had substance abuse issues. And sometimes you controlled him, sometimes you didn't. The bottom line is that we, we have to stop our society letting others stretch bridges to go without punishment. How is it that Ric Flair made it any sort of suspension or anything like that? This is Ric Flair, you fucking pool bag. Good question. Uh, Attention. I guess, that better term, he was a made man. He says, I love the made man. Yes, that's... 
As the WWF deals with the fallout from the flight, Heidi is forced to consider her next steps. I remember walking off the airplane on the tarmac, and we went to a hotel that was quite nearby, talking about how horrible and the ghost of the flight that is after, you know. Um, and then I just went to my hotel room and I had to shower in the car. Like Paul, sports jet. Like I said, that's unfortunate that that had cut on the airplane. They preferred that we kept it to ourselves, the story, because we work with professional athletes and things happen on airplanes. And they let us know that it was expected that we um, respect the privacy of our clients. So then you have to figure out how you tell your husband. I was going to you well, it wasn't excellent. Um, what do you tell your husband? Um, it can even create situations where they say, well, why, why did that happen to you? Or what did you do to make them do that to you? And I would say that might be the worst question you could ever ask somebody who's been hurt because you only feel a sense of, what did I do? Did I smile? Was I like, such a nice to him? Don't drive that. I mean, you feel almost like you've done something wrong. What I had it. But I know another girl, there was another girl on the flight that was very upset about things that had similar things that had occurred to her. She went to a lawyer and then she contacted me and said I should do that as well. If I filed a lawsuit for every time something like that happened to me, dear God, I would be in court for all my adult life. My sense of it was that the company wanted to address this matter, take it off the books, uh, do the right thing by the, those that have complaints, I need and heavy then ammo. move on. There was an agreement that was reached, and, and you know, they offered us self. My husband just didn't want the story told to the public, um, maybe just to protect him. So he was very, very supportive of us. It's sad that money has to be that compensation. Like, I think definitely truth and honesty and, and change Come is not possible, but money is, money is what Evil ends up on the table, I think. And, and then it also buys your silence, which then can add to another layer of the guilt of a victim. Like, it can it could be a cycle that's unfortunately yeah, bad. If that's how she felt, maybe she should have not right. taken a payout and went to the fullest extent of the law to then truly put this heinous person in jail. My opinion. People have their own opinions of what happened. What, what the dad tries them, no one should really have death. You know, it didn't happen to them, but they do. They say, you know, what was it that bad? You're okay, aren't you? And now you have to live with a, a pain or a memory that you didn't it. bring about. Okay, it's fine. I am taking fire. Dark side. Come and get your birthday present. It just got crazier and crazier. It hooked you into it. Maybe even more of our hidden shoes. It's a schizophrenic. That's some serious sh. And untold secrets. We're gonna have an exploding room, man. This was insane. Is somebody gonna say that this has gone too far? Dark side of the ring. You let this in. Cherish it. Our advice. After the exhausting European tour, wrestlers and management report for a live taping of Monday Night Raw a mere 24 hours after the plane touched down in Connecticut. We'll try to cover you and get you get to you. Of course, the challenge. Hey, Jacob. Hey, Jacob. This very lit down here. I'm gonna push him. Yeah, I mean, I hit him from the side. I did it. They came back at me. Oh, what? Got him. Exposure of these scandalous events would mark a turning point in the WWF, propelling it to rein in the public antics of its performance. In a symbolic way, the act 
aftermath of the infamous plane ride from hell, coincided on the same day, something was deeply forced to rebrand its identity. Nice. We took out the whole squad. Oh, the squad's left. No time to be tied. Oh, here. Saw guys that made millions of dollars, not that two quarters spread together. Like they learned from a predecessor. That's job. It's a different culture. It's a different era. I think that's the upshot. We've got a long way to go in a minute. That to it's do it. just like playing right now. Smart so these different kids up. I want to be in the wrestling business. I've always high-fived this guy. I do know. I've never played. So in my career. The day is distant. Time is short. You make good choices that way. I think that there's definitely a sense of that cliche, never meet your heroes. Does anyone have extra heavy, heavy ammo? For generations and got them through their lives. Need fucking heavy ammo. I'm fucking on seventy. Yeah, I, I legit only have like that. I toss here. I, I, hey, I'm dropping. I'm dropping my 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 own. Black market. That's all I can give away. I, I mean, you can take the rest here. There's thirty. I don't need that. No, I just gave it to you. There's five. There's five hundred in the uh, fucking shit. Today, you can also craft some, my or you can find some. I can just do. There's heavy ammo here. We can move. Hang on. I what he did was wrong. He was wrong. And he was wrong. He was wrong. He was wrong. He was wrong. He was He was wrong. He was wrong. He was uh, I was uncomfortable coming to talk about this. He sees some stories of people get ridiculed away. Everything picked apart is what they did wrong. Oh, shit, I'm getting lit the fuck up. I can't see him. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. I might have actually like that shot somebody and I didn't even realize I did it. They're in the fucking building. Yo, I can launch us. Get out of here. Come come to me. They're so fucking... It won't let me put the launch pad out. What the fuck? What the yeah, fuck is going on? No, no, no. We're, we're in the fucking... Hey, we need to fucking face, face these fuckers. This motherfucker ain't gonna lie. Yep. Let's get to this area real quick. If we can. God fucking damn it. Alright, we're first. I've heard, I heard, I heard, oh, fuck, I fucked one hey, of them. They're down over here, both of these dudes over by me. There's a whole bunch of death boxes over here. They're healing up over me, I can hear uh -oh. them. Yep, there's one right here healing. Yeah, but we're, we're trapped here. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, shit. I'm about to die, yeah. Fortunate, did you just... You know, a lot of these podcasts, they they do the the video, right? Where you've got a static shot, possibly poorly lit, sometimes poorly framed, of 
uh, somebody's giant bucket head talking into a microphone, and the other guy on the other side, it has, with his equally giant bucket head, talking back to it. Or staring at the computer screen while he... Or staring at the screen. This is yeah. the other guy talking. And uh, while they're talking to each other, and that... I've been in both the television business and the radio business. And that is rotten fucking television. So we don't do rotten fucking television until we decide that, and by the way, I'm way too old for this, so just fucking hold your breath and see how it works for you if you ever think this is going to happen. Until I decide we're going to do a fucking television show out of this where we're pitching to things, we've got video and we've got on location for something for people to look at besides my giant head up my hairy nostrils there's no reason to do video because we are doing maybe put the overlays of shit that you're talking radio about evening, radio, whatever time you want to listen to it radio we certainly have no discrimination against what time you want to listen to this particular program or any of the others but it's easier to listen to while you're going about your that Brian you were telling me all the I'm ready now. Thing, and I gotta have something to listen to. Well, why would they want to look at our faces for hours at a time? Well, mine, maybe, but certainly not yours. Mind the jacket, would you? I'll get rid of drop of blood. I just can't believe you. I don't know who and who. The problem is, some people started doing it, and then everyone else just chases what someone does. And that, that's the way this you do it. This is your champion. But, no one you know what I look like. Come find me. Hates. You know, every now and then it's like, oh, it's a celebrity. Someone has seen on TV. What are they going to say? But after a while, it looks fall over there. On the audio content. And the other thing, too, is, once you put a camera in front of people, no one dare let loose ultra! The show. It changes the kind of show. It changes what becomes a performance. That doesn't interest me. I don't know. Way to hot track the rumors, sir. One reason we should do video if it'll keep you from doing that, but otherwise. But yeah, it's easy because it, here's the thing this wrestling. We talked about how much wrestling, <laughs> how much of us can you listen to? More of us than you can watch wrestling because that requires, especially since most of the announcing these days is substandard. You gotta actually watch that or try to. I think we're ahead of the game. You can you can do two things at once when you're dealing with us over here. The other thing too is I grew up loving radio. And loving using my imagination to think about what's happening, what's going on. And I listen to the baseball on the radio, uh, good shows on the radio. And everyone gets away from that now. It's like, what are the things killing radio? So the show becomes big in sports radio. All right, let's do a simulcast. Let's film these guys talking on the radio. And it doesn't really help anything. It makes no oh, sense. On the radio. Whoa, 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 on the radio. Jim and Brian were sitting on the radio. Oh, telling things us this time to get troublesome. You know, when I was a kid, Brian, yes. I loved... If y'all with me, I'll be with you. I'd say that inner sound and... All of the various radio suspense and oh goddamn, what's the one that I, I was listening to this on Sirius when I was going to Florida all the time and now he um, this is the Whistler. Champion. I am the Whistler and I know many things as I walk by night and all that shit. But you'll say, Cornet, even you are not that old when you were a kid. No, I was because Mama Cornet smartened me up. With the local public radio station affiliated with the uh, Louisville Free Public Library, started broadcasting. I'm the jump master. No stray, no. Radio plays from the 30s and 40s, and we used to listen to some of those on on the big console stereo that my dad had gotten from the newspaper back in 1965. Pulsar spotted. That's it was amazing. Uh, so uh, yeah, so I had an appreciation for that stuff. I mean, Enough lamb and a lamb, we drop it. No, no. Hey, if, unless you've ever wanted to watch somebody literally pull their pants down and take a shit right in their living room, I don't think you want to see my reaction. He sounds so angry, I wish I could see it.
Yes. The battle happens quick. Be ready. Be inside because I don't see During the doorway there. They're going around. You better move. They're going around. Watching this spot. They're going to be up there. For reference, here's the emission spectrum of an incandescent light, where you can see how much energy is wasted by a light. And here is the ridiculously spiky and uneven spectrum from a compact fluorescent ball. And then this is the emission spectrum of a typical LED light bulb 
with a relatively low red light output and a significant blue spike. I tested the emission spectrum of every ball, and I found that the Lincoln, Sylvania, and Decuno had notably low blue spikes. But the lowest blue spike came from the Phillips Ultra Definition Ball. These numbers are very closely correlated to their color temperature. Though the GE Relax Ball specifically was able to generate very close to a 2700K color temperature without having a large blue spectrum spike, which is what that ball was designed to do. But blue light affecting sleep patterns isn't the only problem with unhealthy spike color spectrums. Because in real life, an object may reflect or absorb only a specific wavelength of red, green, or blue. And if that frequency is the main black light ball, then the color of those objects won't look quite right. Do you want to push them, or what are you doing? The term for this concept is the ball color rendering index, or CLS. Yeah, it represents how the light will eliminate the full spectrum of colors. Most of the other balls play that CLS. 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 And some 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 balls play that CLS. But the $3.50 Phillips Ultra Definition Ball is only 0.4 behind that with CRI 4 and 0.1. Both the waveforms and Phillips Ultra Definition Ball continually struggle with the R9 color. This is a clear red color that tends to be very difficult to help you correct. Red is a clear color. The reference here is the CRI report for that Decky Ball, which at the PC does a much better job of red due to its heavily shifted red emission spectrum. The Decky Ball also performs very well, with a average spike of 0 0.5 behind that with CRI 4 and 0 0.1. Both the waveforms and Phillips Ultra Definition Ball continually struggle with the R9 color. You gotta communicate. You're either pushing or you're not pushing. Fucking bullshit, dude. Yes, I'm seeing your message, Ashley. Fuck. What time was that at? At 17? Fucking don't hear about these. Why do people come in here to say that and then leave? Ball performed the best in every category except for efficiency, or it surpassed the average in 
You know what I'm like? Confirming. She says, that's great. But the one that's the best to me is the one that lasts the longest. And that's a hard thing to test. And unlike the 1,000 hour life expectancy for death dolls, LED balls are supposed to last as long as you want. one, two, or three smaller LEDs in the package, and then all that gets covered with the yellow look buffer to create white light. On these circuits, I say we love the here. reliability based on the number of Enough lambing around, we're dropping. Each one has to drop less voltage, and we'll also have to drop less speed, which is the ultimate killer of these. In this regard, we're most impressed by the great Google 800 lumen bulbs. They use 24 LED packages per bulb, and still only cost $1.33 each. However, things get a little more complicated with the Phillips Ultra Definition,
My fucking team at software is just so poor you couldn't enjoy it. So software completely stunts the hardware. All of the best to you is what made the first iPhone. We've got time. I will attempt it. And it will continue to be, in my mind, the greatest iPhone ever. The hardware was great, but the software. Hey, we gotta get back in here. I could use that. Oh, you don't want that backpack? I don't need it. Oh my gosh. There's a communicator in this chat? Not very much, but yes. Yeah, I know not very much. Welcome to Apex. Nobody ever talks in this game. Except when you do, you win. Sometimes. Where you at, Bagel? I can heal you. Where you at? What the fuck? Stop running! Stop running! Oh my god, forget it. Just go. I, you, you just missed my cue. You're fucking... I can't do anything. I can't... I can't help. Give me 14 seconds, I can heal you again, but... You're gonna run past my cue, or you're just gonna heal yourself and waste your shit. Boy. Let's go down this way. Or actually, let's get down this way and then bust around to the right. So we don't have to go into that fight unless you want to. But it's too late for me. Um, I think he's going to it. Well, it's okay. While well, are we going back to him? What? Yeah. What are you doing, buddy? You going? You coming? Are we back to where we started? Picked up an evac tower. I might be able to go. Might be able to go third party that from the edge. I don't know why 
you're skipping me. I I don't know unless you tell me. I am helping you with running the iOS. Calling in a lab lab package. I think there's somebody trying to right. He's fight over there too. The software experience is everything. I am looking forward to trying iOS 17. Going full well possible, not to I don't see that team over there. They must have all either perished in that storm or. The iPhone 15 Pro Max is the iPhone that gets me to walk away from the Android to speak right. But, 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 but if you're not getting one, don't give it to somebody else to share with you. That ain't right. 35 seconds, rings just you up ahead. Device that's right for you. I choose the device that's right for me. I love you. I think I've said enough for today. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thank you for cheating. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, they went that way. They're that way. They just went through the gap over there, which is where we're going to have to go. Rings around the corner, ten left. Let us follow it. There's a fight over there. Yeah, I think that's the guy we just went to. Let's try and go. We, we slide through all the way through that, that way and just get straight in. Okay. Unless you want to fight that. No, I'm good. We just get into the circle and wait for these teams to get down to the last couple. Gonna have to move to get up here. There's some flying in. Hit that guy. He left. Oh, you're good? Alright, I thought one of you died. He went through his wraith bullshit. Not Let's see if he pops back out there, though. Wherever he went. Um, I just fucking fell. You're okay. Get back. Climb the stairs or no? I don't think I can. Well, we'll come down to you. We're gonna have to go that way anyways. Get into a house or something. An enemy landed near yep, they're right by us up here. Okay, I'm trying my best. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. You don't have to come to this if you don't have to, if you don't want to. Their wraith dipped out, the other one got fucked. We're gonna drop down to you in one second, they probably passed. I'm right here. Hostile over there. They're in this house right here. Must go faster. Our girl. No bueno. 
I can get you up. I don't know where you're. Okay, I'm coming. There's someone on top. Uh, of the mountain. Oh! Here. Yeah, grab that. You need shields? No, I got it. Oh, those are their, those are their decoys. Sorry. We have to move. Rings around the corner. Ten left. They're under the house. Get back and heal up if you can. Rings closing. I like pushing limits as much as the next guy, but we gotta go. Get that guy up top, hard. I don't know if you're going to make it over here. One under me. Oh shit, that guy got behind me? What the fuck? Uh, two close. of them are down. Help John if you need. I'm trying to shield up. I got fucked up, I'm sorry. I <laughs> know you're good. Oh, I'm getting shot. I don't know where I'm getting shot. Oh. Right here. I'm spotted. I just Thank you. Oh, I'm down. He is one tap. Oh, right, he's one tap. Yeah, he didn't come out. He's trying to get himself over there. I I got now it's your, now your Wait, home. let me help you get those fangs out of the floorboards. Dumbass. Shields of my kids, Phoenix kids in my shit. I'll just go get this. There's three on top here now. Fucking what, bro? Good shit. 
good shit. NYXX says, good shit. <laughs> Scrappy DP says, thanks for carrying me. Hello, is this our party now? It must be. How come I can't add you as a friend? I don't know how to add people. I don't really know how to play this game very well. Oh, I figured it out. Never mind. Hey! Do you know this guy, Aggressive Bagel? Is that a woman? Is that a man? Is that a person? No, I have no clue. Must be a robot. The skills like that. It's inhuman. How did they go from three guys up to only one guy at the end there, too? I don't understand that. Because I fucked up the two of them? No, but then you and me were both down and there were still three people up. There was one. Battery Unless that was a bunch of mirages and fucking decoys and shit. Alright, maybe there was two. Charging battery. But then at the end, the only only one dude jumped off into the sky. He thought he was gonna be a fucking bird up there, and dude wasn't gonna just shoot him out of the sky. Introducing your champion. Is that right? What you gonna do? Wine on the feet or step up? Okay, Ashley, thanks for the ideas. I will not be adding your Discord. I'm the jump master. Follow me. Did you think you're the first person to come here and say, I have some ideas for you, but I'm not going to give you the ideas. I'm only going to give you the ideas once you come join this other thing. I'm the jump master. Yeah. Duh. That's really smart. <laughs> we should land there. Looks like fun. Copy that. I love this part! <laughs> Attention! First blood. First blood. The battle begins. Also, I like to get high a lot, so uh, if you see me just pause, not moving, maybe holler at me and get me moving because I get distracted when I do that. I'll suddenly be back in a bowl and then the storm will come and hit me. Or if you're in a fight and you need gotcha. some help. Sorry, how old are you? Is that, or should I not be saying that? Six, 16. Oh, maybe not. Forget that. No, you're good, I do it. Deploy and help no, you know. You're an innocent Attention. person that does nothing. There is a new kill leader. <laughs> okay, okay. New kill leader. Go on, watch out. Warning. Shield closing. Thing is moving for life, 
fighters. No R301 here. That storm moving already? With where's the timer? Oh no, three minutes. Is that the longest timer? Come on, stay alive. Why does aggressive bagel not talk to us? I don't know. Maybe he's scared. Shield here. Yo, you want that? You can have Aggressive it. Aggressive bagel, have it. where you at? Come get this, cause you need to heal up anyways. I'll, I'll get one out of my drop or something. Usually that something. Not now, but the next one. Shield cell here. What the fuck? Why do I have an Eva 8? There are Scotty to be found in this direction. I'm gonna need to go backtrack because I must have dropped my gun somewhere. Let's be honest, I'm the only real champion here. I don't understand why this shit never lets me pick it up the first time. I have to like click and then wait and then click again and finally it'll fucking take this thing that it just rejected me from taking the time before. That way. You guys a team up there. Off the squad's left. Target over there. Extended barrel stabilizer here. Level two. Uh, Med kit here. Yep, I got the trade off for the rampage. Now I'm not carrying through the same weapon. Round two. Mark it Next ring is not close. Care package over there. Let's get on that. Yo, replicators coming in for a landing. You're shooting left, right? You're shooting towards west, right? Northwest.
You're shooting far, aren't you? Enemy spotted. There's one up in that house, too. Wherever you're shooting at, there's a third person shooting at them from this house. Enemy over there. Listen up, the ring is closing in one minute. Calling in a last line package. Scanning the area. Shooting. Should we do here? We're we gonna either have to push that guy in the house or he's leaving. We should too before we get moving. You know what rush that one has because somebody's in it with a drone. The house? Never mind. I think I lied. <laughs> They're coming down the ropes over here. Care package. Sweet. If you can get out, get out, because I don't know what the fuck is happening right now. Try to get out over this bridge, but I don't think it's gonna work. You're gonna be good. I think I might be good. Yeah, we gotta weave ourselves all the way around this. Bro, I'm gonna try to craft you. I'm not gonna make it. We're done. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I had a shit ton of heals, I just didn't. Ugh. It was that bend around the edge. I got a need for speed.
Go on, drag it. Trust me. nature. Then trust yourself. Me. I'm in a class of my own. The fuck out of here with that. Good, I'm the jump I think he's doing something bad. Um, sorry. What we're happened? landing. I didn't know. I, I, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. It's okay. Is there going to be a team here? Are we going to hot drop? The battle happens quick. Be ready. Is that an R301? Wait, wait, wait. Was that an R301? One minute remains. The ring is close. You're talking to him, not me. R301 here. I got one up here if you want it. I can drop it to you. So you can get up here. 45 seconds. Ring's just up ahead. Oh, wait. Are you talking to me? Yeah, I, yeah. The one, the one in the R301. Yes. There's one up here. It's corner. Oh my god. Cancel that. Rings around the corner and we've got 30 seconds. Backpack here. Level 2. Avoid it. Be aware of a new kill leader. I somehow came out of that drop pretty good. 10 till ring closes. Scanning the area. Light ammo here. Laser sight here. Level one. Car SMG here. Thank you. Here. You got someone out there? No. Is there something going on in the background, or is that guy talking and you can barely hear him? Evil shield here. Leather two. Step in this fire here? What's this fire all about? Did that hurt you? Mm, yeah. Looks like it was damaging him a little bit. Yeah. 
I'm on top of the world. It looks like only 15% of you are subscribed. Come and get your birthday present. shield here level three and luck here bloodline here Right where we died last time. Car SMG here. What's this little light shooting up to the sky thing over here? Over there. Okay. Oh, that's a care package that's already dropped. Target over right there. Up there. Round two. Beginning ring countdown. Must be aggressive to come back. Attention, delivering replicator. Looks Got like a replicator coming out. down. I believe there's somebody over there. I'm not 100% sure. Do you want to hit him or you want to try to move towards the circle? I want to go to him. Are you watching a, uh, a movie in the background? Is your boyfriend or brother in the room next to you? With me? Yeah. Whoever else is. There's only two mics. The ring is close. Time grace is us. I hear um, something in the background. It might, it might be a TV. Unless the other dude's talking, but his mic's not moving, and he's very, very low. No, it might be the TV. What are you watching? I'm not watching anything. It's uh, upstairs. No it's just down. really loud. 30 seconds until the ring closes. You like putting it close, huh? I dig that. But if I had to guess, it's some type of, uh, action show, movie thing, I'm a bobber. What makes you guess that? Oh, that's just what everybody watches, you know. Who is everybody? One. We're all inside this ring. I'm actually in the middle of watching a spy documentary. It's not an action thingy, my bobber. Is it interesting? To me, it is. Deliver. To you, probably not. Oh, I like serial Sweet. killer documentaries. Yeah, you're a woman. They all love that for some reason. I don't know what's uh, going on. With yeah. That. I don't mind them, but like, there's a, a little too many of them out there. Are you stereotyping? No. Speaking facts. You said it, not me. Are you in, you like making a murderer? Stephen no. Avery? Have you ever seen that? No. 
Oh my god, woman, you're about to go have the best experience of your life. Go watch Making a Murderer when you're done with this. Did you watch the did you listen to the podcast serial? No. What? What do you what serial killer stuff are you watching? Let's go to this fight. Okay, but I don't have any sights. We got two teams here. Charging on my shields. One more minute, amigo. Rings right there. So close. So close. Heads up. You got an airstrike. What's it me? Was that one of you? No. That was you, wasn't it? I'm a hit! Recharging my shields. Charging I don't think I can do that. Recharging my shields. One to our right. He only has blue evo, so. Sorry, I, I don't think I should craft this guy in the meantime, but you're at least coming back. Here's your birthday present. Also open this thing or oh fuck we're fucked if we do that. Well what do you wanna do? You wanna go back up this hill to him or you wanna go back up this hill? Might be something good that way. Twelve seconds. Does I'm, not matter. I'm never gonna get to him. I guess we gotta go this way then. There's someone in this house. Nope. Landing right here. You and me now. Contact! Okay. You just went in here. Taking a moment to Ah! 
Ah, oh, my fucking. He's hurt bad. He's right in the sword in the door. Contact with Hosta. Let's explore this way. One minute remains. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, my fans love you. I fucked that up. I'm sorry. I guess we lost her. Might be a good place to land. <laughs> Enough lambing around. We drop him. Yes. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This guy I ever tried to jump out of a plane when they suddenly got stuck. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This guy I ever tried to jump out of a plane when they suddenly got stuck.
They were able to free themselves and parachute safely to the ground. The amazing thing is that she didn't get hurt. <laughs> this guy just found out that bringing a laptop on a speedboat isn't a great idea. have like specific sounds that bother them for me it's styrofoam it's styrofoam styrofoam rubbing against each other <laughs> okay this lizard is smart enough to figure out how to turn on this water phone oh my word <laughs> <laughs> a scientist took some of his own blood, added in some germs, and looked at it under a microscope. This is what's happening inside of your body right now. You can see his white blood cells moving through red blood cells to go attack the bacteria. The white blood cells tear open the bacteria, causing it to explode. So sticky that I got stuck to redemptions. Gold goes so well with a diamond like me. <laughs> this hot accidentally. If you are with me, I'm with you. <laughs> this hot accidentally flew right into an owl mass. This is your champion. I will shed bluff and honor the old father. After a little bit of fighting, the hawk was able to make it out okay. I found a YouTuber that records extreme close-ups of objects. Here's what a burning mash looks like up close. I'm the jump master. AJ Shea, lead on the way. That is the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed, and I like I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Howard Buffett, with billionaire Warren Buffett's son, owns a town, essentially, in Illinois. I'm the jump master. Illinois. Time to make some jaws draw. Eyes on the lizard that way. Which you have to, without indicator, try to figure out what it's like living in a town effectively owned by a billionaire. And the story is terrific. You put up your false American oligarchy. And it's, and it's something of a kind of uh, uh, allegory for our, I think, our broader uh, society. <laughs> I got beat the fuck to death by two people, boys. They're both fucking crap. I'm dead. <laughs> Who's chopless then? Mine. Uh, that wasn't okay, good. Okay. It was not. Thank you. Dude, I'm only mad because I literally got beat up by literally two people, bro. They had no guns and they both just beat the shit out of me. It's okay, it makes you feel better. I fucked up the class, but if you didn't have a gun, you could try to box me. I felt so disrespectful. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. He's like, let me just. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he said not today. <gasps> you know they're gonna be coming. I don't even know where I'm at. <laughs> Uh, you know, this, this thing with the Alabama that I've never heard of, I don't think God will have, but after he told me about it, you know, I read up and, and like, there's been some great reporting on him. Um, some of his influence on the Southern border, uh, you know, some, some more positive coverage. You know, you don't know, you 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 know, you
Diddy. My ultimate's ready to go. They didn't take double tap out of the game, bro. Yeah. Attention. Ah! Attention. I'm gonna get you ready for the next post to turn the I think if you keep taking that zip, you'll go to the circle. Yeah, baby. Yeah. In my face when I'm with you. Evo Shield here, level two. I can't feel my face when I'm with you, and I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. What does that shit do? Ooh. You should go faster. Ooh, look at that. I need a gun. I'm gonna try to get there. Got a closed door over there. Don't push so hard. Wait for us a little bit. I'm not pushing. I'm trying to find a weapon. I got nothing. If they kill me, they just get... But... Who am I pushing? There's no one to push. I'm trying to go get a gun. Jesus Christ, bro. It's fucking... It's not even noon and you're hostile as fuck, bro. What is your problem? It's not noon for you? Where do you live? <laughs> I think you're doubly wrong, because this ain't hostile. You've never met me hostile. This is me being friendly. Who's saying that? Kind of like, you know how some people have resting bitch face? I'm just kind of a resting asshole. Close range. I can't help it, that's just who I am. 40 years old, I'm not gonna change, sorry. Double and give it to the next person. Shotgun ammo here. Shotgun bolt here. Leather too. No, it's almost ready. Okay, Google, what time is it? It's 12.53 p.m. 
And by the way, if you're ever feeling curious, oh, see, it's 12:53 according to Google, so I think it's afternoon. One minute, rings nearby. Perhaps you were wrong about the first statement as well, Mr. Incorrect. Let me incorrect you. Thanks for incorrecting me, buddy. Hey Google, turn the volume up all the way. Hey Google, tell this guy he's a douchebag. Okay Google, what time is it? <laughs> I think my Google disagrees, sir. My Google is at 12.53 p.m. Oh, I got smoked! We've got There's another squad seconds. here. An octave You're going up top. You're up top. Come back. Now you're up here. I'm dead, Isaiah. Any help? We should do that again. Only next time, even faster. GG. <laughs> Scrappy DP says, GG. Wait, who got the most? I got the, I got the least. I'm the least. I'm the worst. Fuck me. Oh, before we do that, I gotta go. Peace haven't been done. This piece where we focus on uh, the people of Decatur and what it feels like to uh, to live, uh, uh, yeah, under under the influence of a uh, power bubble. Yeah, in, in 2019, my colleague, uh, my then colleague at the Intercept, uh, Rachel Cohen, wrote about his 
uh, wrote about this kind of phenomenon where she focused on the, the, the weird marijuana fight that was going on. That was, that was my first introduction to the idea that Howard Buffett had decided he was going to spend his money effectively just kind of running the show over here. It has all of these weird kind of interests in being a sheriff, sometimes actually, as you report, literally being a sheriff, other kind of playing one on, on TV. But so when, when I say that he effectively owns this town, like what what is that? What does it mean to kind of like how does he exert his influence in Decatur? Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So for, yeah, first of all, that intercept uh, PC mentioned is a great piece, and I encourage everyone to seek that out. Uh, uh, she was reporting from the time time as he. Uh, it was revealed that he had pushed back against uh, a dispensary. Uh, so Illinois had uh, legalized, uh, uh, you know, dispensaries, marijuana dispensaries uh, statewide. And so that, you know, mm -hmm. municipality of Cater had to decide if they were going to have one. And a lot of people uh, were very pro uh, the dispensary. Uh, there was a, a referendum that was uh, run in the uh, township of Decatur uh, uh, and, and showed that there was, you know, uh, overwhelming majority of people wanted the dispensary. Uh, but uh, basically, uh, you know, as, the, as that piece, the Intercept piece reported, uh, you know, due to Buffett's explicit influence, uh, the city council members, a majority voted against the dispensary, and uh, it gets tied back into his personal views, his personal views against marijuana, against, you know, pro-war on drugs. Um, you know, interestingly, there's a, a big addiction recovery center that he built uh, in town, uh, which feels, you know, uh, you know, objectively a good thing. This vile gang took everything from me. Perhaps I can take some of it back. Uh, but where it gets more complicated than the idea of how you, you know, it's a philosophy of the world that would be a job. The world. So he believes in addiction recovery, but he definitely believes in access to marijuana. So, you know, you, you see these things, it's, you shouldn't be opposed, but in his point of view, they are. So, uh, you know, so, so it's, it's a very uh, a palpable thing that he's able to, uh, to control you know, what champion. happens in the town through his influence. Uh, uh, I'm not a pawn. Uh, I'm here to break the game. Kind of, you know, when you walk around, it's kind of see some uh, you know, me. banking and foundation. Uh, the uh, the local zoo has an exhibit for the uh, the, uh, the uh, paying homage to the guards of the Virunga National Park. I'm jump Chicago, master, gun master, and uh, would you, you believe know, uh, an excellent strange, chef? But you know, it's one of his passions, so it's there. Um, the, uh, the Children's Museum, which is a private museum, uh, it has an exhibit called the Heroes Hall, which is like this very, very explicitly pro uh, law enforcement uh, exhibit. You can basically go in there and you you know you read these placards about how the police are heroes. You can put on uh, different uniforms and pretend to be a cop, and you're told about uh, what uh, you know no the great thing the police no. do. Uh, and you know, it's a Children's Museum. It's like all primary colors. Get ready, you know, moving up. Running around and stuff. There's a, a, a statue of Buffett. Uh, from this time, I guess he was uh, actually a Christian sheriff. There's a statue of him outside. Uh, uh, so, uh, so yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, it's just about uh, you know, someone that's focused on small towns and the people that live in small towns. Now, his representative told you in the story uh, when you asked to potentially speak with Ring Robert Buffett, basically one minute that, close. listen, he would have moved out of Illinois years one, ago yeah. if it wasn't for his wife's health. You know, he's too, he's too busy for Decatur, basically, except for planting and harvesting season. He's traveling around the world. He's not there. Okay, excellent. But you also point out that Decatur is a really oh, interesting kind of case. It's not your typical maybe Rust Belt city. There's something, it's, it's shrinking, like many, many Rust Belt cities are. Um, but analysts look at it and say there's a decent number of jobs here. People are able to make a living. What can you tell Rings us close. actually about Decatur just as a city? What kind of city is there? What is it like? Um, and you know, how has the city reacted? You have some really interesting stuff in there too, about how the city itself has reacted in different ways you to how it's happened over the years. Yeah, absolutely. First uh, lab, good thing is uh, not us. So yes, yeah, it's, it's you know kind of classic Illinois farm country as you imagine. You're driving through and you're seeing you know rows and rows of crops and it feels you know endless. Um, and the big uh, company that's there is Archer Archer Downs Woodlands. It's an agricultural giant. Uh, they all make all these products that you know, food and all that. Just give my shields 
sit the uh, uh, right here. Company. This way, um, let's go. What I, what I heard from locals yeah. because, uh, I could use a fix on this. I could need a fix on this. I could use 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 a fix on this. If you gotta go craft buddy now. We gotta go craft buddy. Over the, over the border. So it's a small uh, municipality. Just over, you know, just you know, five minute drive from the cater that's getting that tax revenue. So I think that's a very kind of blunt New clear example of Eyes out you know, locals are saying that they want something because they believe that it will Lazarus work. Lake says, do we? Well, you don't have to. I'm going to. I'm sorry that I like to be on a team of three when I'm playing trios. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that, that that puts it pretty starkly. You know, the idea. Let's go that way. Replicator like, there. This person have in the best interest is himself or is it the town? Yep, that's where we're going. So, yeah. That way to the right. Buffa here is kind of an avatar for the billionaire class in the way that they are kind of organizing society to Listen up, I'm calling a lifeline package. What can we learn about the push? Like, who are the activists? What do you draw from? What it looks like to kind of try to, like, galvanize some energy against that and reclaim that it kind of uh, built up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I think that, I think that, uh, Craft is banned, I gotta respawn. Interesting to me about the hater being a you can literally physically see his presence. And we just gotta get to the crafter. People, and, you know, you see him around, and it's this rare example. Lazarus yeah, Lake says, there's squads there's everywhere. Uh, well, that's fine, I'm gonna have to sneak through is really there, where most of the time, you know, How do you catch a unique rabbit? Exactly connect the dots between, you know, the way money is spent. And unique up on it. Uh, and so I think that also manifested itself in the ability I'm gonna for some myself over to the to rally around the dispensary. Uh, they were fighting the city council to kind of reverse their decision against the dispensary. Oh, okay, you go that way then. I'll go this way. A lot of attention was paid to the uh, the manner in which Buffett did influence the whole thing. And from what I was told by local activists, they feel that that did push him back somewhat from, from being a young ho um, about, you know, further actions in that, in that kind of capacity, and, and, you know, the idea that maybe, maybe they're pushing him out of central Illinois a little bit altogether, uh, maybe he has lost the appetite to, uh, to, uh, you know, uh, influence it as, as aggressively as he has in the past, um, I think that this specific fight around the dispensary is the most kind of cohesive press was pushed back that he's felt that he's seen, uh, and yeah, I think that kind of, uh, might have, might, might, uh, might kind of stymie any given person, you know, nobody really wants to be in the spotlight like Got that. Some materials um, well, for especially us. when you're someone who spent a lot of money, you're also interested in how that money Not is like, interpreted. So if you can you can Google him, you'll see a ton of great coverage, you know, from his time as sheriff, you know, about how he's just this guy who loves the small town life and just runs around, you know, wanting to help people. Um, you know, where the reality of how he became sort of more complicated, you know, sheriff was an elected position, uh, he... Uh, he was he was appointed when the acting sheriff uh, uh, quit and, 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 and uh, signed him as sheriff. Up a respawn, uh, later on, this, uh, this on sheriff its way went down. on to uh, to work at this uh, kind of police training facility. Uh, worry, I got the squad mates so back. Compared to you know, it's top city to be an indicator. Um, and so yeah, so there's just like very direct uh, kind of a influence buying that uh, you could that you could kind of see or assume you're right lazarus we did not have to only i had to do or something congratulations uh, 
Lazarus Lake says, huh. Dipper says, nice. Dipper says, right on top of a team. You know, not it's just us. We got to watch each other's back. Lazarus Lake says, not sure what you're doing, Lifeline. What are you Lazarus doing Lake not says, helping? Oh, I'm sorry. Told I, was, I was trying to get my fucking teammate up and you didn't come with me. How is that my fault, you douchebag? You literally didn't Lazarus come to Lake your teammate. Says, what are you You're a moron. What are you doing? You, you're the moron. Lazarus Lake says, You warned, I warned me you not, not to go, go there. there. What do you mean you warned me? I literally Lazarus got Lake I says, got there. I, I got our dude up. Twice now. You didn't save me at all. You've never come to help me at all. You've never done anything for me. I went there. I got our dude up. I was able to get into Lazarus the fight. Lake says, Had you been there, we would have won. Got our dude up Unless you saw. Him instantly. Unless you Lazarus saw. Lazarus Lake says, Low what IQ. You, how you, are you dumb? Had you been there, Dipper we would have been says, able to do something. Ha, 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 ha. Are you dumb? Literally, you're the dumbest person ever. How am I supposed to fight with you not being there, you dumb shit? You're the reason that that happened. Figure it out. Lazarus Lake says, Louisville. You're Lazarus a keyboard Lake warrior, says, dude. Listen bro. to yourself. Dipper Listen says, to yourself, fucking. I'm crying XD. Lazarus Lake says, look in the mirror. Lazarus Lake says, Dude, it's 2023. Get a fucking mic, you Scrappy peasant. DP says, oh my god, type, there's type, no type. fucking way. You're sitting here keyboarding it. Cool, bro. You're an awesome person. Hey, what's clearly. Going on? Here. You need to bear with me on this one here. I got a little bit of a ranting sort of, I don't know, monologue, if you will. Open letters. Dipper says, Hey man, my keyboard is RGB. It looks nice. Lazarus yeah, Lake says, to fucking 2012. I love my keyboard. Welcome to 2012, you keyboard warrior. Have that attitude in the real world. See how it works. Out. Guy who's afraid to talk in Apex. You're gonna go out in the real world and have so much success. Holy fuck. Dipper says, I mean your GT is scrappy, you prop think or a fighter, lol. If low key is more your thing, the Crime and Elite series also comes in a black, non RGB edition, while retaining the amazing punk screws. To see the full lineup of new Crack and Elite and non Elite coolers from NZXD, follow the link in the description below. Lazarus Lake says, right, I'm so guessing you're a 5 feet 6 inches construction I'm start worker. I'm saying I absolutely positively despise the term influencer. It's not, I'm got influencer is not something influencer Dipper says, them. pole dancer. The influencer is a term that came about because of marketing agencies. Marketing agencies view anyone with a viewership or an audience watching as influencers. Like, hey, you can use them to influence buying decision making stuff. Now, that's sort of true on what a lot of us do. I, I can't speak for everyone. I can speak for... I, I can say that other influencers I've talked to hate the term. And although we do try to have an impact on buying decisions, we try to make sure that we give people smart ones. Now, of course, I've made some mistakes in the past, and so have other influencers. We don't always get it right. But I can tell you right now, the purpose of buying decisions and influence has nothing to do with lining the pockets of the in industry agencies and the marketing agencies and the, the brands. Dipper themselves. says, it's about I won't be mad if you don't res us, LOL. And give you guys information to make your own decisions on. So that's a term that... It's just been completely bad. Dipper says, I understand XD. It's become a thing. I feel like the marketing agencies look at influencer, and really we could replace that term with manipulate. Lazarus so Lake says, how PPL. I just want to put that out there first. So I'm going to flip the script today, and I'm going to use my influence to maybe keep you guys from making really, really bad decisions and seeing through the bullshit that a lot of these marketing agencies that represent a lot of these brands. I did a little bit of research today on sort of pricing trends over the years because the thing I'm noticing, the reason why I'm making this video is the audience is just so turned off right now. The idea of building a computer, upgrading their computer, getting into PC gaming, at what some prices. Lazarus Lake says, try not to die again, Scrapper. Lazarus Lake says, short king. Ranting, sort of a, I don't know, monologue, if you will. Lazarus Lake says, you got a lifted pickup with a 1K a month payment too. 
next season stuff. Because I'll be honest, I'm just getting a little tired of this stuff. The Kraken series AIOs from NZXT come in many shapes and sizes to fit your CPU needs. The Kraken Elite series RGB coolers feature a 2.36 inch 640 by 640 customizable LCD screen, show system info or custom images and gifts for a custom look. F series RGB fans and a single breakout cable for a simplified installation. Lazarus Lake the says they got a crabber. The series also comes in a black non RGB edition for the same box and some pump screens. The same full lineup of new Kraken Elite and non Elite coolers from NZXT, follow the link in the description below. Alright, so it's a good thing you want to talk about here because I, I'm going to start off with saying I absolutely positively despise the term influencer. It's not, I'll be honest, influencer is not something influencers name themselves. The influencer is a term that came about because of marketing. Marketing to view anyone with a viewership or an audience watching as influencers. Like, hey, we can use them to influence buying decisions and stuff. That was sort of true on what a lot of us do. Like, I, I can't speak for everyone. I can speak for... I, I can say that other influencers I've talked to hate the term, and although we do try to have an impact on buying decisions, we try to make sure that we get people smart ones. Now, of course, I've made some mistakes in the past with so other influencers. We don't always get it right. But I can tell you right now, the purpose of buying decisions and influence has nothing to do with lining the pockets of the in industry agencies and the market agencies and the, the brands themselves. It's about trying to determine whether or not something's worth the cost and give you guys information to make your own decisions on it. So that's a term that has just been completely bastardized over, over the duration that it's become a thing. I feel like the marketing agencies look at influencer and really we can replace that term with manipulator. Because that's honestly how, how they Who's down now? Little Lazarus Lake says, Reva. So I'm gonna flip the script today. I'm gonna I guess I'll just let you fight by yourself like you have to be and tell you really about this. Lazarus Lake says, I told you not to go there! Ha, ha, ha. I told you not to go Zipper there! Says, Look at you! They're both one shot oh, LOL. You're dead now! Lazarus Lake says, so you are a short king. Yeah, okay, cool. You know, I, I and I'm 5'6 or whatever you thought. And I don't know how to fight. You think that I gave okay, myself my nickname. The thing yeah. I'm noticing, the reason why I'm making this is the audience is just so turned off right now to be a building a computer, a computer. Lazarus Lake says, is DP because you love being penetrated? No, it's because of the dog pound, an organization you have no idea about. But it's, it's not. It, it, the game quality is terrible. We've all been groomed to accept crappy products. We've been groomed to accept crappy launches. What do you know about the dog pound? Nothing. Just Goodbye. It is what it is, and then we fix later. And what that does is it puts all of the control and all of the power in the hands of the manufacturer or the game developer. And in my opinion, that's wrong. That, that is not the way this is supposed to be. It's like, if there's one thing the COVID shortages... Dipper tries, says, nice aim XD. Lazarus Lake price. says, that was Maybe amazing. that signed up for a raffle or lottery raffle to be able to buy something? Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you felt blessed for the opportunity Lazarus Lake says, GGS. Lazarus Lake says, Bahaha. Dipper says, Holy shit, XD. Well, I think a lot of the problem is many, many of these industry brands don't understand the really good decisions. Lazarus Lake says, amazing. It was Lazarus amazing Lake to see you dead. Thanks for the laughs. Thanks for fucking dying and then watching me play, buddy. Says, I have more DMG. And my chat now, was. When, I, when I'm going to show you some charts here coming up in a little bit, not for motherboard prices, the GPU prices, and CPU prices, the trends over the last 12 years, going back to 2011. If you go back to 2011, 2012, 2013, and you talk about building a computer, a high end motherboard. Like, a full-featured motherboard that does not leave a bunch of Too features different. missing or stripped off the board to keep it, you know, cheaper. You like, it's, one it was a full-featured, all $125 for a motherboard. $250, there you go. maybe $300. Like, a $300 motherboard back then, it's like, long, it's like, long. Because you can get serious, well-performing, non-lower-tier chipset motherboards for 89 bucks, 99 bucks. $125 is where it started to look like, okay, we're paying a little more for a motherboard. 200 plus was like, wow, you're really, you're really going all out on a motherboard. You know, now, if we look at motherboard pricing, 
it's kind of ridiculous. And, and let me explain. These brands, and I'm putting everyone in the same boat here. Like, all, all of the brands are responsible for making this same mistake. And that is only marketing your flagship models. So what you start to do is you start to put a serious undertone in the industry of saying, this is what it costs. Now, that's not what it costs. That's the most you could spend is looking at buying some sort of an elite motherboard or you know, a formula motherboard. Top tier is going to be, yeah, you can spend seven, eight, nine, a thousand dollars on a motherboard. No problem. But the diminishing return on that and the amount of Kool-Aid you have to drink to really think that that is necessary is just, it, it, it's insane. Because today, in 2023, you and me. a $200 motherboard is like an entry point. Like $200, which used to be the high end, is now like, oh, now you're starting to get a couple of the features maybe that, you, the gear. you know, have been uh, stripped away from any board under that price point. It's ridiculous. So what I've got to hear is that the new other boards available in stock today at a max price of $150, which again, not that long ago was considered a solid yeah, mid to great motherboard. Yeah, all the future hundred fifty. You know what the sad part is on this? If that's, we talk about anything current, that's uh twenty five like, thirty more dollars than hundred. You know, you're not going to get anything above like for people six sixty. We're not even talking about like we're not talking about see. When you're talking about like Unless they got a reason to plug the mouth and things, C eighty seven and all that, you yeah. were able to buy the overclocking top tier chipset. $200 or, or below price. But now we're talking B series mother, B660. Uh, there's another B660M Asus Prime for 140 And M, no. And the problem is, with <laughs> <laughs> stuff, and, I, and this is probably because of how it's more expensive right now to manufacture AM5 motherboards for AMD because they just switch to Langford Ray. Uh, so, and no longer have it being on the CPU, it's, it's on the motherboard now, the pins. There are only AM4 motherboards available for this price range of 150 And there are like B450s. There's another AMD A520 for 120 for $144. That is like the bottom spec period to get into AM4's latest chipset for AM4, not AM5, obviously. An A520 for $144. Ridiculous. An H510 LGA1200 for $141. H510, no overclocking, like there's no bells and whistles. You might have two, you might have two fan headers. You probably have no RGB headers. You probably have, what, one, maybe two M.2s. You might have three SATAs. There's not even a cooling solution on the BRM. Friends, this is, this is why. People are losing interest in computers because you are literally pricing out the buyer. You you were going after whales and whales only, and guess what? There's not enough whales in the world to keep your your industry afloat. We price out the main buying demographic. Now, when we talk, we'll talk about inflation and stuff here. Cost of materials is definitely more expensive, but it's not 50% more expensive for the cost of materials, depending on on the material we're talking about here, but. If we look at like graphics cards today, and this is this is where things really start to look gross. If I right now I went on to Newegg, this is as I'm filming this video, and I searched for graphics cards in stock under three hundred dollars. We're looking at more thirty sixties. 4060. We already know how terrible of a deal a 4060 is. 7600 Black Gaming for 269. 6650 XT for 249. Um, 7688 for 269. So I took some time to go and really just research what was the cost, like what was the launch price of various graphics cards. And I charted it. So I charted it over from 2011 to 2023, what the launch price of particular graphics cards are. So if we look at this chart that I've created, and this is the scary part, look at this chart, you're going to see this massive spike, and that was 20 series, where that big old spike was. And then you'll see it get even higher, and that's the 30 series when they started the 90 and the 90 Ti and the 80, 80 Ti for um, you know, the 30 series. Now, a lot of these prices shocked me at what they used to be because I think we've been so groomed 
to accept higher prices as the norm until you go back and really look at what's been intentionally happening with pricing. And I'm using NVIDIA as the model here because, let's face it, we already know that AMD has been trailing NVIDIA, and AMD has also been, unfortunately, not innocent in following the NVIDIA pricing model. Oh, uh, hey, we can charge more. We'll charge less than NVIDIA, but we can charge way more than we have been. So, unfortunately, AMD followed suit with that. But the GTX 680 was $549 at launch. And we'll talk about inflation in a minute. So hold up, before you do typing like, yeah, but inflation. It's good, it's, it's in the eye opening. 549 US dollars was the launch price of the 680. $649 for a speed. Now what you're going to notice, up until 20 series, 549 to 649 is where stuff kind of is. And what you'll notice is like, so 549 for the 680, 649 for the 780. $100 improvement. Then the I already got one. Take it. However, the 980, which was arguably faster than the 780 If you don't take it, throw it out so you can use it. Was 549 $150 cheaper than the seven outgoing 780 Ti. So, the 980 Ti came in at $649, which is $50 cheaper still than the launch price of the 780 Ti. This so guy not playing point, over here? This was well, like he the just golden era of graphics carpet. The 700 series and the 900 series, these were really powerful, although the 700 series is hot, but these were really powerful graphics cards that kept price parity with each other. You know, they just sort of slotted the old stuff, the new stuff within the old stuff, and gave you more of the same price, or less, in this instance. The 1080 Pascal, which was arguably the, the most golden era of graphics card, period. The 1080 launched at a price of $599 2016. $599. The 1080 was such a performance leap beyond the 980 Ti, and it was $50 cheaper. Now, this is where things started to really go off the rails, though. Because that was when NVIDIA introduced the Founders Edition pricing, where Founders Edition card was a $100 price premium above the MSRP of the card because NVIDIA got into the business of selling parts direct to consumer, bypassing the AIDs or the AICs. Add and board or add and card, they're the two acronyms that are always used for one and the back and forth. But bypassing their own part and selling direct at a hundred dollar price premium. So the six and the five ninety nine price point to exist is very basic of the world style for your classic track. Super basic part. Because none of the AIDs believe their designs were were MSRP or record. They were all custom. So they followed the pricing of six ninety nine or up. So that was where this artificial paper price sort of kind of existed, but realistically it was seven ninety nine, not six or six ninety nine, not seven ninety nine. Just giving my shoes a Ten eighty Ti came out, six ninety nine. That was later that year. Okay. Six ninety nine for the founder's price of one hundred dollars. So for additional so seven. Twenty series. Yeah, don't know how that. Twenty series with RTX, RT cores, and tensor cores. The LS is not a launch, and the video is an absolute premium for it. Which is $700, $29 for $20. Now that was referenced in MSLP price. $100 more for the founders. For the 2018 Ti, $99.99 with a $200 founders version price. Ironically, if you guys remember, that founders version cooler that NVIDIA's first time doing an Axial Fantasy Flow stock for the time. You want overall hundred dollar price premium on the founder. So what did that do? That meant everyone else was gonna follow suit with that eleven ninety nine high. That's where the big the first big spike was on the chart. Well, thirty series came around, six ninety nine for the thirty eighty. That's why the thirty eighty was supposed to be like amazing. That's why Computer was supposed to be like absolutely fixing the market. The only people who got 3080s for $699 was the very first round of buyers before they were out of stock at men's and everything went completely off the rails. People were paying up to $2,500 for a 3080. Moving on, they also launched the 3090 at the same time. Now, this is the first time we saw a 90 series graphics card designed to be an actual mainstream gaming card, although they tried to market this very much as a poor man's productivity card. It 
replace the Titan, and those are the Titan cards you made. Replace the Titan as being part of the GeForce lineup, the true gaming card. As much as they argued with me that the 90 series wasn't for gaming and the Titans were for gaming, they absolutely marketed them as such. $1,500 for the first. And then don't forget, you know, the 3080 Ti, 1200 bucks, price parity, 2080 Ti, oh, the hybrid, it's the storm to come through. Right, to accept higher prices. 649 starts a little bit. You're welcome to go, but right, I'm not coming. Previous generation 80 Ti cards. 40, or the 3090 Ti. Denied, Captain. $2,000. And you know what? Because on that Are you streaming on Twitch there, right now, sir? That there was enough people out there willing to pay ridiculously 3x markups on graphic cards that they went, well, let's just launch one at two grand and see what happens. But guess what? That was when people started to notice. Yo, you like, got ones along the way trying to shoot you. Yeah. They are now so bringing out the industry for every dollar they can. Which is now more than There's a, a year and a half later. And you're really real. starting to see the effects of the just dishonesty, the intent to overprice. And people are pushing back now. 40 series came along. 4080 launched at 1200 bucks. 4090 launched at 1600 bucks. Here's the problem. If you look at the chart, yeah, sure, it was a price I can't reduction. It's coming from. Technically, there was no 40 DPI. You know that it was planning 40 DPI, but I think they held off on that because of the fact that there's so much feedback on availability right now that really launching more speed is probably not a smart move. I believe there was even a 4090 Ti that was pretty much for the scrapped. A 3090 at 1500 and a 4090 at 1600 was only $100 more, but look how much faster it is. Realistically, it was compared to the 40, uh, 3090 Ti 2000, so it looks like $400 cheaper for way more performance. Looking at the chart, you can see now that drop back down the pricing is not going to at all. What happens when you talk about inflation? We gotta move. Here's how the prices look adjusted for inflation. They're down low, close to us. So if you were to, you know, take a look at the pricing for current inflation, you can see things like a couple hundred dollars, a couple hundred dollars. Clearly, accounting for inflation for a couple hundred dollars is far more than that. Where are you? Why did you get me into that fight? Why did you come back to me to fucking let me? This series is where most people don't shop 80, 80 to higher end. Why did you come back to me to fucking let me? 70 series is where most people started to consider like, hey, this is a high-end card, it can do everything I want to do, and it's cheaper. So 1070, this is what blew my mind. The Pascal 1070 was a, a very, very solid card. The 970, that was when NVIDIA really screwed up, and that was what the whole four gigs was actually three and a half gigs, and it was poorly marketed. And 1070. I thought, I even asked the team, I was like, how much you guys get the 1070? Like, when I watched people were like, I don't know, 499, 500 bucks? It's 350 dollars. You know, how much is the 4070 today? 700 dollars. So, <laughs> 550 dollars. about timing, right? The 2070 was actually 499 dollars. So that's 120 dollars up from the 1070. And that was MSRP. He had founders of another 100 bucks. That's now 220 dollars. Market for one gen of things. CPUs actually are not as bad as I expected them to be. From the 2700K, which was the Intel gaming i5, so no, actually i7, because it's second gen. I've seen it all. I7, that's Nothing surprises me. The 2500K was the 4 4. Um, 2700K was 340 bucks. And the 70K, or like they call it either 70 or 770K, whatever. Um, stayed around that price point, 350 for introducing your channel. Nah, from well, second gen to time. ninth gen. Especially that's me. actually not bad. That, that, that's, of course, Intel wasn't really expanding the core counts and stuff very much. They, they clearly were behind AMD during all stay of that. Close. So they had to stay priced. Look, 2700K was 340, 3770 was 342, 4770 was 350, 6700K was 350, 7700K was 339. 8700K was 359, 9700K was 374, but that's also where they introduced the i9 lineup for the mainstream CPUs, and then anything i9 was usually $100 to $150 more, so 9900K was 488, 10900K was 600, 1100K was 539, 2700K was 
12 magnum cable was 650, and that's where they really tried to really push the price, but they had to reduce it prior to 13th gen. And 13th gen yeah. came like only months after 12th gen. They reduced the price down to like 549, and then 12th yeah. gen right now, 13.9 KS589. But you look at the chart, it actually stays pretty level. And the only time you see these spikes now on the chart, that was when the I9s were added. So it's actually not on CPU. I mean, if you say the 700K models, like the 11700K was 399, so we are talking about a $50 bump 10 years later, which isn't that bad. Uh, you account for inflation, and you put the inflation numbers up on here, you can see that it sure they jumped up across the board, but then it gets very close together as we get to the price and it shows that it's still, it kind of for inflation, was actually pretty low. It, the price scene wasn't as bad as I expected it to be, um, inflation accounted. It's just as for count went up, so it didn't cost. So advice for both the industry, and it has some advice for the buyer. First of all, the industry needs to stop fertilizing on there's not enough marketing around affordability. There's not enough marketing around entry-level price points, quality at entry-level price points, getting people into the genre. There's so many people out there that I've seen in our videos over the last year say, screw it, I'm just getting a PS5. Screw it, I'm just getting a console. I'm getting even a handheld these days. If you'd stop only... Because the problem is everyone, all these brands are competing for the top dog position. It's like bragging about how expensive you are. But if you want consumer trust and you want consumers to, to believe in your product and that they can afford the product, advertise your affordable products. You'd be surprised how many consumers don't go out there and, and do research on lower end products or lower end tiers. They, they see the ads and they, they see the product that gets sent to influencers and they always want to send their best products. We push back a lot saying, stop sending us your super expensive motherboards. Send us your mid tier. Send us your entry level. Send us your realistic products. We, we, we've said this for years. But they want to look great against the competitor. I can tell you right now, you, you spend 800 bucks on a motherboard, you overpaid by about $500. On things that will look nice in a case, and guess what? Once it's in there and it's on and you're doing your thing, you're not going to look at it that much. And you're, you have, it's not going to even grow with you because manufacturers, especially Intel, it doesn't give you more than maybe two generations for the compatibility. So you're buying a new motherboard anyway if you upgrade the system in more than one generation. AMD is giving you some more support in terms of the socket being relevant. All of AM4 and then AM5 is going to do the same thing. But now they're doing that AM5 may not even last past next year. Because as you add pins, you have to change the socket. And now they're LGA, they're going to fall in the same track. Intel fold. You know what 1150 versus 1151? One pin change forcing an entire motherboard socket change? The stuff on purpose. I have a little bit of advice for NVIDIA. Break GeForce off into its own company. Get GeForce out from under Jensen. Jensen's true passion right now is AI. And that's not gaming graphics. Sure, the technology trickles down to main con mainstream consumers. But the, but the way the company is being run, I think there is so much distrust amongst the brand and the consumer right now. The only way is, and I'm sure sales figures don't support what I'm saying, but I'm telling you right now, in terms of long-term brand trust, you guys may not want to admit this, but NVIDIA is on defense with the consumer. They make a great product, but it's overpriced, and it's just, if they follow the Apple moniker too much of, you don't know what you want, or what you want, we know what you want, we'll tell you what you want, and you're going to pay. That's exactly how NVIDIA operates, and it's disgusting. Break GeForce off into a Let it true gamer leadership buy a gaming staff that understands how to run a gaming business, and let true innovation, let affordability, and let passion really show. Because I think if you ask just about any consumer today, is NVIDIA passionate for gamers? Even though NVIDIA tries to put that in all their marketing, I bet you would hear a resounding no. Anyone that you ask. That's because it's so obvious that NVIDIA is more interested in selling 
700% marked up 100 series AI generating GPUs for $70,000 a pop, and then giving two shits about the GPU leader GPUs. appointed. I feel like GeForce needs to be told. You know how AMD absorbed Radeon and bought Radeon and absorbed it into AMD? I feel like it needs to be the opposite for both these brands. I feel like Radeon should be its own brand, again, like how when it used to be ATI, in, ATI Technologies. And GeForce needs to be its own brand. Let it be under the umbrella of NVIDIA so it has NVIDIA duck money, but let it operate in a true gaming passionate. Uh, last but not least, the consumer. The consumer is <laughs> innocent in all of this. There are gifts out there. There are, there are ways to spend anywhere between $800 to $1,200 on a PC and absolutely decimate anything you could have gotten for $1,200 bucks 10 years ago, obviously. So you are getting more performance per dollar, even at the low end product tier line, the lineup. Than you could ever get. Morning so very much in fact. And we have 50 pounds. Very good. Very important. Very important. But you're, but you're, you let the marketing get to you to the point to where you don't believe it's important. Uh, yes, inflation obviously is a better more than just this stuff. And if you find yourself in a position where you're like, I really can't buy a PC because I've got friends with it. Yeah, that's obviously priorities. Our priorities for a reason. If you're just jaded and you're tired of, of hearing the marketing and all that, and you're just sort of like out of spite saying screw it, I think you owe it to yourself to at least do a double take and make sure that you truly can't afford it. Because things are, there are affordable options. There, there's, there is stuff with price parity and what we're used to seeing. It's just, you, you gotta ignore all of the bullshit marketing you're gonna see and don't drink any of your brand's Kool Aid. I'm passionate about this, and when I and I and I read the comments and I and I empathize entirely with what people are going through and saying about price, because I want nothing more than to everyone to share. Like I have, I have a few major passions in my life: cars, computers, and tech, and my family. I'm not sharing my family with you guys. I'm not sharing my cars, but computers. I want everyone to be involved in this. Like, the computers are. I can't tell you how many people are written saying they were in dark places in their life and they found passions in computers and building them and tinkering with them and overclocking them and playing games. And it, it may sound so cliche, but it literally changes their life. And you may you may be missing out on that if you're not even giving it a chance because of all the bullshit that has been created in the industry by the brands themselves. That's why I say, the brands created this mess, and now they're sitting there scratching their head going, we're not good. That's it, guys. I'm going to get that on my chest. I'll feel better for a couple of weeks, and I'll probably make the same video. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Solid copy. Here's what everybody thinks about. Uh, As jump master, uh, I alone yes, decide our fate. Your user of the sucks. Let's get outside and get the fuck out of here. Okay, let's go. 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 Facebook, a place where your mother, your grandma, your great grandma, their moms and dads all live. It feels like a collective breeding ground for all the old people to come together and say very, very cringy shit. I'm your Huckleberry. I'm your Huckleberry. It's a place where boomers can come together and rejoice and give each other invites to cocktail hours at their local back bar or where they're going to meet up for their pickleball on Tuesday nights. But it's also a place for them to be very confused with high lifestyle. It really does feel like a perfect place. In the but today I wanted to go back into this forbidden territory like a Russian spy. Sneak in and see what's going on up there. Today we're partnered with Gibbs Subs. Now, I like a nice red one. Wow, I'm drinking gamer shops in my gatorade. It's an amazing company, and all the time that I'm sponsored, GamerSubs is the tastiest, it's the most reliable, I love GamerSubs so much. 
unironically drink it almost every day. It's <gasps> Even today, this morning, I had the new Cabo's Bloody oh, Orange. Don't even know what the that Cabo is. It's an delicious flavor. And then I go to some of my other favorites, like Anime Girl Thought. And of course, my good buddy, Bubby, has his brand wrist flavor that's amazing. Great branding. It's just all around great products. And also, you get free feather pairs. It's like Anime Girl Thought. And of course, my good buddy, Bubby, has his brand wrist flavor that's amazing. Great branding. It's just all around great products. And also, you get free samples. Use my promo code, Pop of Me. It's nice. Henry Cat 59 says, Lifeline Health. Help what? You guys put me into hell. I follow these stuff. Great art. Fun too. It's a fun little treat for the whole game. Maybe not for the I had to go find some weapons. You need heals? What do you need? It's a long term sponsorship. It helps me. Did you see it? So please use promo code pop meat at your checkout or try out some of the products. Tell me. Once you try it, you'll be hooked. It's fantastic. Thank you so much, Gamer Subs, for being a partner with us. For real, you guys are cool. Target over there. Sneak in and see what's going on on Facebook with all these people because I hear some weird stuff's going on. I hear some people have been saying some things. What are they? Let's find out. Trying yoga for Can you mark where they're at, at least, maybe? I do the downward dog pose. I always slip a nug. My pretty pants and I have slipping nugs in my cage. Maybe chips are tricks for nug slippage. Uh, and of course, someone asks, what is a nug? But they're confused, like laughing. Look, what's a nug? And then the Smith person says, a nug is when you poo your pants by accident. Oh. Wow. Well, Sue says, I am my motherfucker for many days. My dog sheets for its job. Sue, why are you yelling? That's what all capital letters mean for your information. It's rude. And Sue says, because I have a difficult time seeing. Yeah. What would be rude, Juanita, is calling you a bitch. Sue, don't play around, dude. Yeah, you know, she's fucked up. You don't deserve to be online. You can't see what we see. Shame on you. Hello? So this is kind of funny about the Cambo Cadova. Um, it's on a military base. The Cadova's on a military base? Yeah, I just, it turned, told me to turn somewhere, and then I was like, oh shit, there's like a toll booth here? There's a guy standing outside in like tactical gear, and then people were handing him something, and he was going to hand you, and he was like, oh, you don't have a pass to go in here. Did you try to install a Valor and get it in there to get Qdoba? Let's go this way. But I said, go to this place and do a background check. Let's just let's just let's just test it. Let's risk it all and try uh Chipotle. Well, I'm not gonna get it, but I'm not gonna get it. Well, let's see if the guy for a couple of days, you know. So yeah, let's get it. All right, what do you get? Eight pounds. Eight pounds. I have lost eight pounds since July. Back here. Very I, I'm going on a diet right now, and I need to, uh, whenever I lose 8 pounds, I'll be sure and post this to my Instagram so you guys can see. I have lost 8 pounds since July. I was just October. I don't know if that's that big of a feat, dude. Reloading. I, was, I, had to go to, I had to go to hell and back, but I was able to do it. I just had some cheap at least. Walk to me, goodbye, and I'll, I'll heal you under here. Get off that, get off that platform. It's me here. 60 year old co worker has a text me every okay. No! Oh my god, I can get him. You don't have to put yourself in. Oh my god, you're dumb. Good morning. Good morning. Henrik at 59 <laughs> says, Lamoa. <laughs> Lamoa! <laughs> but Joel's like, why does he never text anything back? Mom memes. Latching on to mom, mommy's titty without biting. Drinking some weird funny liquid under the sink. Today's iPad addicted babies. Wait, did they, did they format this like a I fucking bomb? Well, today's iPad addicted babies, and then you read left. Drinking the weird funny liquid under the sink, latching on the mommy's tea without biting. This is of shit. Facebook's emojis are so funny. Like the the, the little like smiley face man know. like coddling the heart of this. Uh, Henry Cat 59 it. says, Hell. Dude, now who's the Maui? You so took it upon yourself like to do this. what you were doing, and I, I don't know why you're doing you this. So you're getting cocky, they're getting sloppy. <laughs> I have, I have the delay receipts. <laughs> Many texts like this from my home grandmother. Hope we have a great day. I hurt my knee. I really wish that we could have seen the picture that the old woman thought Attention. somebody looked glamorous to, because I bet it's like a big fucking gross son of a bitch. Yeah, but that's my, that's my little granddaughter, Becky. 
if a glamorous, can you please come over here and compress my chest and try to fill my lungs of air? Megan Fox. 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 Megan Fox
backpack here. Level two. Well, we have an enemy out there. Okay, Google, what time is it? 1.55 p.m. It's been an hour since the last uh, check. I'm ready for a match. There's sky above us, earth below, and iron within. In the name of science! Introducing your champion. Jump master. Huh. And I just had a propulsion stone. Call a shooting star. I 
Let's go. I shot. Are we back alive? Yeah. Let's go. Let's The battle happens quick, be ready.
search a foot. If anyone knows of any three bedroom houses surrounding the surrounding areas of blank, the please thank you in advance. Not houses. Be easy. <laughs> I accept the challenge. I'm wondering if anyone knows of any three bedroom houses surrounding the surrounding areas of blank. Please thank you in advance. Houses. <laughs> Introducing the champion. It's a pretty good split though to be fair. 6238 doesn't have the hugest margin, but yeah, no, I mean houses is pulling ahead. Even though you think houses split, that's kind of fun over there. My vehicle. The vehicle had been damaged by you. Hey, here, pals. I hear you. Lot in is one of my specialities. I want to know who's the first person who did a fucking what's it called? Emojis or whatever. Can you feel the speed? Or bitmojis? Or bitmojis? Bitmojis needs to be fucking thrown out of a window. My vehicle's been damaged by that criminal. Shit, the rooftops. God, be thankful they're not the temple. Look at the Mr. Beast face one. Oh, there's a couple things with Posh that we have to understand. One, either either this is the happiest this man's ever been, or two, his wife made him put this on for the photo, which I'm guessing it's the latter. But then three, uh, charging $35 for this fucking poncho is unbelievable. And also, like, it looks so uncomfortable. It, it looks like a comfortable poncho, but 30, 35 comes my boy named Punch. I'm gonna name my dog Punch. You know, I, I think that Facebook isn't gonna go anywhere, and I'm okay with that. I think that when I get to a certain age, I'm wondering what age it is exactly, I'm gonna be right there with them. I think they, you know, heard you back in with the group, and I'm gonna uh, worship Mark Zuckerberg like a god. Uh, but, you know, it's nice to know that after all this time in these years, that good old Boomer Facebook and Boomers on the Internet haven't changed. It's been good old fun. And I think, uh, you know, one day, I can't wait to join you. And until then, I'm going to be young and cool. Chuck, someone got my eye person. All right, bye. <laughs> oh, Like it looks like it's switching. Fucking doesn't. Pet beggar, what did you send that message at? Are you still here? Do you get people by chance? What does that mean? There's, got, there's no subs on in my channel. So good. I don't do that. I don't ask you to say that. 
I don't need your money. But I'll take it if you give it. No, I'm not. I'm not that vocoder. Fuck the whole song up. Bro. Okay, this is really exciting. Inside this package is something that a lot of people want, that a lot of people have hoped for, and it doesn't exist yet. It's a concept. It's an early kind of idea of a smartphone that we don't have yet from a company that many hope will eventually make it. I'm, of course, talking about Read Apple. Is it. Talking Watch about your side and never quit. Perfect timing because we just had brand new iPhones. When this thing together, so we're fire die. Didn't switch enough. They're not new enough. They're not innovative enough. I mean, a lot of people. Some people were like, not the perfectly cool. I'm going to disorder this. Inside of here is something that's up to Ready to go. Open, but I need to warn you, it is a concept at the moment, so you're going to have to treat it as such. And for these types of packages that are extremely taped up, you're going to want a decent this is your nice. champion. Okay. These are if worms so taste easy. like bacon, I wonder what worms will think this you taste like. This nice overkill for package opening, but it's unboxed therapy after all. We kind of have to go overboard a little bit. I always I thought you were a few coldies short of a slab. Huh? I always yeah. thought you were a few coldies short of a slab. functioning phone? This, ladies and gentlemen, this i15 pro <laughs> it is the world's holding iphone this might be a good place to land <laughs> well everybody wanted it didn't they i wasn't lying about that i don't know if they wanted this first but it enough lambing around we drop it maybe it gives us some sort of an indication to what the holding iphone could have been if this generation managed to hold of course in the meantime in china they're busy giving it to you anyway, however possible, and that's where this comes in. So what did it say? 32 megabytes of memory. People shallow? They landed shallow from us? Get deep? Two G Two nano sims, and obviously this clamshell doesn't hold any it's actually got a mechanical input for call but it would be interesting to see how the iphone design looks on something that holds so it seems like a will are you seeing this and they gave us the gold one as well to pretend that you have twitter notifications or well, actually, X notification so the Twitter logo, WhatsApp, or music. Are these cameras even real? I'm skeptical. And we nailed that Apple logo. But, like, I mean, just imagine this. Imagine the folding iPhone. Just your, your iPhone, your existing iPhone, just folding in two into a tiny little package deal. Now, funny enough, this one's also got USB Type-C, which is... An upgrade over anybody that's got a 14 or 13. I need to feel like, hey, I've got the 15 now. I can't believe this is real. It's not a mock up. Like, it's a real Why did you guys phone. go there? I don't even understand this. It's sort of timid. It's a Type C instead of a headphone jack. A SIM card. It's not a SIM capable. It's got this number pad for diving. I remember last time I was in China, I was in the electronics market, and the stuff you can find in there is absolutely wild. You, you, you can't believe that it exists. Like phones that are inside of a cigarette pack. It's a car, but it's also a phone, and you're just like, you need that? I don't know. But it's there, and you can find it. And, and this. I bet you they can sell this. I mean, look at it. It's just the novelty factor alone and being able to make the call is crazy. Look at this. It's not big. It's big. Yeah. There it is. So it's really a dumb phone. It's like a flip phone, but if you look at it from behind, it's like an old razor you're going to be Kia. really curious if it's some sort of folding iPhone, which it's not, even though they wrote i15 Pro. And for those that have been desperately waiting for Apple to make a folding phone in the style of the flip phone, this is about as close as you're going to get at the moment. Will, what did you pay for this? So let's see if it has power on it. So this, this is really cool. This is today's sponsor, and I was super it's pumped over when, when it's they sent over. this over. This is our best you can call me yet at the future of wearable 
full display. Uh, so I have to super active base and get like a very big and comfortable display for viewing content, for interacting with work. It's called Ditcher. The key is that they're so nice. Negative F7 says to recon. Let me show you how this works. So eventually there's this cool magnetic connector here which slaps on to the back part. So this is a very cool adapter. This little guy here plugs into Apple's existing adapter. Obviously with the new iPhones you won't need that. A single need that you'll be able to then use just to see to the magnetic connector. This is not cool. And it will over and I'll be back to Wrist strap. I'm trying to keep us under the radar. The sound tuning and audio phenomenon. We've got the exclusive glimpse of how MSI is hot up from beginning to end. I stand walking here about a thousand bucks. They actually love this. There's only 10 people who can be probably in this room. Listen, MSI said once. I pay Taiwan, where we got an exclusive look at how the company makes laptops from beginning to end. And the site is unique in the laptop space. The battle happens quick. Be ready. The entire process, from design to manufacturing and even the RMA process. At the headquarters, where hundreds of people work on the laptop team, we were met by Cliff Chuck, director of product manager, who walked us through key parts of the process of how we make a laptop. And it all starts with audience development. The more our employees or our PMs are in the meetings, they know what kind of features are better for that and make it better. And that actually gives them the incentive to make the product better and then through the experience. So they used to try a lot of like prototype products in here and let's test it out and see how what turns is better and stuff like that. I guess you had to actually get gamers to find out what gamers wanted to get the top top, right? She was actually one of uh, the, the pro gamers also. Before. Uh, yeah. So I think a lot of people, when they pick up a laptop and they see a logo from a partner, Steel Series or any other one, like sometimes they think it's just simply uh, you're yeah. Lexus again. No, you're yeah, really getting it. input from it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So for example, like, the, the two major, like, main brands on top of the yeah. side uh, yeah. laptop is Steel Series. So as, as Mark said, we actually do work closely with them. They actually come out with the prototype for some keys, we test drive it, and then we, we pick which ones fit best in each of the different series. Um, and then they also help us to find to not only the hardware, but also software. The other name brand that exists in uh, design audio, uh, they actually flew engineers from Europe into Taiwan in a side to fine tune it to see how to make the speakers better. Like, how the hell do you know what gamers are going to want or what people are going to want for material? So that's a hard Well, thing. some of it is a trial and error, but we do a lot of studies with end users. Like, we do have a lot of, like, we have a huge end user group uh, through our, our, you know, our old previous uh, customer space. Usually when they register, they think we um, do the survey, then we'll give them extra three months uh, warranty. And a lot of those customers really to give us a lot of feedback. Looks like a care package is coming in. Well, Big things in that. They actually New kill leader, as our form. That's where it helps us to develop. Here's your birthday present. Just taking your feedback, the team starts the design process. So the wish list comes from the sales and the partners. And then they are the ones that will figure out uh, like what kind of design looks cool first. So then you start with sketch. Uh, about our conversion or our meeting. After the 3D drawing, we will make the prototype immediately from the machine center. It would be really cool to do like an amazing looking laptop with all kinds of things piled on it, but then does it become a limitation because then you have to also think, consider the cooling and then you will actually have to go work with like the cooling team how much space they need, what kind of air vent like need to be done, and then also like she said like the, the plug. For example, like in the beginning, Mark still will have an idea of, like okay, for the G Raider, we definitely want the 4K screen, we want the mini LED screen, we want the OLED screen, but also the full HD screen. So those are all the requirements. And then they have to look at okay, so for the A and B side, how much space they have to play with to put it all there with the wires and everything. And then when it gets up to this point, we're we'll talking about okay, the hinge was an issue back in the day uh, for our previous use uh, model. So that's why we want to change the hinge 
to be a strong thing. So that's why I see the heat cover um, more than just, you know, different stuff. So that's where it comes into here. And then basically this is the, to the point that it is functional, but nobody is going to buy a functional $2,000 laptop. They want something stylish. So that's when the other style or the color or the lighting and all the like, even the emblem, how, what kind of emblem we want to do it. Do we want to do a printing or do we want to do a see-through? So kind of like outside for that's where it's all these like features and little bits, bits and pieces themselves. And that's where it first seen. Um, comes in and actually help us in the game most of the time. Yeah, and that's, I, I think that's one thing people don't understand. Products are a negotiation, right? You have yeah. different teams with different expertise. The IT team and yeah. the product team and the sales and marketing team is what we meet often. Uh, every, every single step, and then the GM is basically like, okay, to maybe this spec I can give up and optimize, but you know, this other one is, is our, we need to hold our ground, and that's where. Well, sometimes they go backwards right. because of certain stuff. I mean, this one we're showing you really that one, two, three, five, but it could be like one, two, three, and then going back into number four, we scratch it and then we go from there. Yeah, I mean, really, I mean, I'm kind of interested in why some of the design changes. Even like the bottom, like as you can see, the, the scratch is here. Uh, where the very the icon that is the L We actually do quite a bit of different designs. This also have to work with our on the tooling, how much land we need space, how much stuff we have to cover. This one doesn't raise up. But while in here we're able to raise it up a little bit so that so that it will have more airflow that kind of stuff. And the main thing was increasing that too. Yeah. Looking at this early prototype, there was no no front. Yeah. yeah. Start to have. You start to have the LEDs. Yeah, but we haven't figured out what kind of like the LEDs and stuff like that. And this one is where it goes into the very nifty, silky style, which is the last generation. This looks like, in a lot of ways, the same, but this is a lot more eye catching. Exactly. Uh, that was during the age line. I know this is what, two years ago? Two and a half years ago. And at that point of time, everybody's kind of slowly transformed from black and red into more dark gray. So at that point of time, we don't want to deal with that. We want something different. So that's why we, we were studying you know, the green initially, but it was a little bit too aggressive or a little too, too new. Too risky. Too risky in the market. But then like once we, we actually found some quite a bit of different places that like you say, like we do have a lot of like those samples. Has, and the last one that comes out is this one everybody loves. I'm back. Off. Yes. At the end, yes. In the beginning, we're going to be very But if you want to do different colors, that is much easier. Uh, and the old color of aluminum is much more heavy. And then I want every different series will figure out if you want it to be critical or iodized or set glass. Uh, we will depend on what kind of And that even influences the textures too. That, that's crazy. From beginning to the end, it's roughly about yeah, three to four months, which is really quick. And one of the reasons why we do that is So the CMC is not only for the prototype chat, but we also do it for like the little parts that we This is the couple of stuff that we just cut for all the two chip cuts here, right? Like we need to figure out like which keyboard to use and then where the placement. So this is where we cut every single piece out. When up there at the ID team, we come like send them the file, then they will start to use machine, and then they basically cut the way as we switch it. So this one is the uh, uh, three side, like 
Oh, the last one we got ABC, which is where the sheep was tied at. And then this is the bottom. This is all plastic. And on the other side is where the battle. You start with the plastic as part of the protest. No, 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 no. Different, different units. Oh, God. So, for example, on the time of the store, they're also uh, plastic. So, like, a competitor, they would not have those. They were paid for my little sand to design to like a third party. You show that competition, they need to roughly a year and a half to come out a product. For us, we are able to spend the hours to use everything in the market. One of the most important things is that we can start talking about is the server for one. So this is the server, one of the many on-site ones. One of the number one stuff that people really want to do. Contact, contact with that control. You ran away from the turret. You have to test it, you know. Once the unit is over here, it doesn't matter if it's inside the same graphic card, same CPU, you will have the performance drop. So this part basically has to help the performance, efficiency, and then how the control. And then this is how we are able to fine tune a little bit to see um, we will need to lose off a little bit of space out a little bit more and that kind of stuff. Right, so you have to test each fan or you can make tweaks and this is based on actual air flow. I got the house dying. They use the indirect. Initially, they will use this to see where is every single spot so that they will go backwards and go exactly where they put all the trains. Infrared is not reliable for accident. Yeah, but this, but at least you will know which air is hotter, which air is cooler. This is a temperature um, chamber. We actually use physical touch thermal testing to see exactly where the hot spot is at on every single unit. Um, and not only the exterior, but also each of the components inside as well. This is simulation. Oh, right, right. So, so with this data, then we know exactly where like the air flow in and out. This is how we use this to, to fine tune and tweak right. across every different pipe. Right, and that's of course before it's in. Yeah, so like, you know, maybe like step four, step five, step six, like everyone goes through here to come back and see how we can fine tune it. Maybe we, on the bottom, we add a little bit more air flow to the area. It might, like, be cooler, the exact, the very hot bottom. How we can move the, the air flow without it. Ring blue then. Just similar and see where the sound is moving. There's a fan noise, there's a cricket noise, and a lot of it. Even that will be easily here to find you. This will also help us on the outside to So that to avoid. Yeah, maybe we need to kind of go sponge on. Well, I heard them on the way out for you. Washer, Thanks for that. Just so that housing may be able to catch the bottom. It also goes back to the engineering side because you may want to. Well, anything is always going to get out. That's the interesting thing. Because that would be more performance. Everyone else is going to get down because they don't want it to be kind of like five seconds either. Right, right. So that's. That's where everyone's fighting on the day. So this is yourself. right where the normal microphone is, is touching. Scrappy so DP says, heal. And then this is how we fine tune not even to make it so that you will be able to catch more like high, like the high frequency at the lower base. But in the same time, it's like right where it's the best. Okay. So the base sections have to be uh, very clear. It's not very muffly. And then the higher frequencies, you don't want, like, it's up to a point that it's, uh, it's, uh, it's louder in that area. And then um, everything in the mid-range shop has to be very clear together. So as I say, like, you know, the middle range shop, we want to get that full line, because that's where it's the open range frequency. Because this is frequency. And then the thing 
because as you can see, we have a higher base than you know, our competitors. And then in the middle, they have a certain range um, that is not really yeah, dropping off. And then also in the higher range, it's very up and down. Obviously, there are hundreds more decisions that go into the back. But once the process is finalized, it's ready for the next step. Side factory is in a separate location, so unfortunately, we weren't able to visit. But the team did give us a rundown of some of the next steps. Starting from the empty PCB board, putting in all the components, and then putting all the elements in the panel, and checking together, and then back up, starting around the hour. A big chunk of it is definitely doing fun. The number one part is the very easy process. For example, putting in stuff on the motherboard, the machines will go much faster and stuff, and uh, it will less likely to get better. But there is still another chunk of it that is going to be used by human parts, which is like after it goes through the motherboards, when it comes out, when it puts the machines together, for example, for the machines factory, that kind of stuff, a big chunk of those is using like a manual work. Every single unit gets uh, a simple test, which basically you run through, you can have a software, you can do all the tests, and then it will go through the burn cable, basically like a manual test. And then also in the beginning, every single batch, you will do a lot of different things. tests. We're pointing out to each test, we have a specific machine that has every single piece, basically today, that kind of test. We also have other units that test things like audio, and then another one that test things like drop test. Most companies wish to be involved. So if you need anybody to go to our name, you need some of you. The MSI building center is kind of right. So this is where somebody brings somebody in if they have a problem? Yeah, exactly. In here, we do have showcases room in here that people can take a look at not only our laptop, but all of our other components, telling them like what kind of stuff is here while they're waiting. There's also experience places that we can work with other partners. Here they will be able to check in um, and if they already have had some issues before, then we will have the record already. But if not, they can still bring it in and then they can do some diagnosis. And then in here, you can see that we're actually uh, fixing the unit as we speak. And this is all MSI employees that like fixing all the products in here. So you can see we actually do the full testing. We basically have the exact same bench in LA office as well. Um, everything, all the process, all the testing SOPs is unified across the world. We do have 26 locations all over the world. Well, let me put it this way. Anything is already not happy on the first hour day. And if we put it and we let someone else to do it, without quality assurance, there could be a second RMA and third RMA. A lot of companies might just have a third party. Third exactly. And you'd then, rather do it yourself. Yeah, like it's it's a lot more investment. It's a lot more high cost. But for us, it's the point to have a better customer satisfaction. And then also uh, for us, it's better customer retention. Like if you have to send it back a second and third time, yeah. they're, just, they're never going to buy it back. <laughs> <laughs> That's the number one thing about us. Oh, that's the number one thing. If you bring it in with appointment, we should be able to do it within hours. Uh, in America, basically, when we get into our battery low, you and my time with MSI charging battery. I realized I only deliver a fraction of the decisions that go into every laptop design. From the shape of the hinges to the port placement to the fan speed. Who's thinking that goes into every step of the laptop and nothing is ever done with just a simple wave of a hand? That's given me a new appreciation of laptops, even after covering them for more than 25 years. I want to thank MSI for allowing us such great access to the teams and to the labs that make all of this happen. We're hoping to do more product profiles like this again in the future. So be sure to subscribe here on PC World. Turns out two married MAGA stars have been having an affair.
for years. And it's been an open secret, but now confirmed according to multiple reports. Now, who cares? Why would we do this story? However, when it comes to anyone else, especially the left, Democrats, progressives, anyone who isn't themselves wanting to live their own lives, love who they want to love, dress how they want to dress, identify how they want to identify, and does Matt and the right have a lot of things to moralize on? But when it comes to them, they can do whatever they want. So who is this? What? It's Mason, the code of governor, Christy Nome, 51 years old, who stresses her belief in family values. And Trump advisor, Corey Lewandowski, who is, yeah, also married. And they began carrying on in 2019, if not before. Uh, and again, and this is according to the Daily Mail and the New York Post. There they are together. This is I one of, this it turns out, many dozens of photos they have together. We don't need to collect them all for you. Uh, you can go look at them if you want. Um, again, I just want to say, this is the Daily Mail and the New York Post. Obviously a little trashy, that's why they're covering an affair like this, but just, you know, full disclosure. The Daily Mail investigation has uncovered extensive evidence of the couple's romantic relationship. Dozens of trips that makes business a pleasure. Flights on donors, private planes. Days at luxury resorts where their intimacy was observed and noted. This is according to a staffer of gnomes. We often had no idea where she was, or eat, or if she was even in state or out of state, she would simply disappear. Um, and then in 2019, this is sort of when it seems to have begun. Um, Corey Lewandowski was a key advisor to Gnome, and the pair went on a deep sea fishing trip hosted by the late conservative billionaire and GOP mega donor Foster Brees, who, along with his wife Lynn, ranked among Gnome's top political and financial supporters. Um, and then again on the 2020 uh, Trump campaign trail, it seems like their relationship was just out in the open, everyone knew about it. And only recently, uh, Lewandowski has even been lobbying Trump to make Christy Nome his running mate First in 2024. Um, just so we all know, Christy Nome is married. Um, she has three children with her husband, Byron. Um, they've been married for 30 years. Corey Lewandowski also is married to actually a 9-11 widow named Allison Hardy. And in 2005, uh, in 2005 and has four children and did not respond to requests for comment. Um, but before we go on, because there is more, just, okay, open secret, everybody knows, they've been observed by everyone, and um, again, chew on the other foot in <laughs> life. You know, if, I don't know, pick anybody, right? Like, if anyone from the Biden team, I mean, God, we're talking about, like, Hunter Biden's every single detail of his life, every single mistake he's ever made, we're obsessed with, right? Every single person he's ever slept with. But here on this, it just kind of washes over. Um, I don't know, maybe it will Rings break through in. in the right wing circles. Yeah, so I, it's also relevant because uh, it's gonna affect the VP pick for Donald Trump. Uh, but let me break it down. So first of all, when politicians disappear, uh, they'll say they're on the Appalachian Trail, but I got news for you, they're on a different trail, okay? It's almost always because they're cheating. And okay, so, maybe the little. mail is a little sus, so I wanted to make sure that they had oh, as I read and read. My God, they went to every event, in every conceivable, stared at an attorney general's event for Republicans. I'm like, wait, I see no sign. General. She just randomly went to a attorney general event at a different state because Lewandowski was going to be there. They're in Vegas together. They're in Miami together. They go to like random like hoedowns and that. It's not a bad one, but they were going to the most oh kitty cat petting events in Louisville. Like it was <laughs> ridiculous. No matter like like dozens of events, and everybody's like, where the hell is the governor for South Dakota, right? And uh, and so and her hypocrisy on this is not a little bit. She super aggressively ran on family values. And not just a, a man and a woman that kind of stuff. She's like, I'm one man, one woman, one Corey Lewandowski. Make nope, sure nothing I need to craft. <laughs> no, you can't have a part, right? Now, the reason it affects the vice presidential uh, conversation is not because, oh, Trump's going to be reluctant because of her hypocrisy. On fact. Trump doesn't care about family values at all. I wouldn't care about that one bit, wouldn't care about the hypocrisy part, wouldn't care about the family values part. No, he's going to be jelly jelly. So Louis Gossett's done this to him before. Trump yes. also is into all the attractive women around him. And number one on this list, according to rumors, was Hope Hicks, who worked with him at the White House. 
and it turns out Lewandowski was alleged to have an affair with her as well. And that's when Trump finally snapped on Lewandowski. Punching a tunnel. So it doesn't have anything to do with Lewandowski being one of the worst people on earth. But he, when he found out that he she, he might be sleeping with the girl he had a crush on, Trump's like, oh, he's out. He's out. Okay. And so now Christy Noakes uh, dropping to the bottom of that list because Trump's going to be back. It wasn't there. Oh, absolutely. He had so many thoughts about, like, he was so mad that Lewandowski was sleeping with Hope Hicks, which honestly, like, Lewandowski really trying to tank every woman's career that he's ever like been involved with. I just put on that on when he was fired. It it might have been around Hope Hicks, but there's you know Lewandowski also kind of a dog and more than a freak, a predator. Uh, it seems like actually he hit on the wrong woman back in 2021. Um, again, he wasn't faithful to Christina Ohm in terms of who he was trying to cheat on his wife with. Um, she was at a banquet table. Uh, this was this is this uh, old reporting at back in 2021. He was at a banquet table where he was joined dignitaries, joined dignitaries including Trishel Odom, wife of a major Trump donor, construction executive John Odom. Almost Odom, there. He propositioned Odom after disclosing that he had once stabbed two people to death that his penis was way longer than normal and showed her his hotel key. Odom slept the table after Lewandowski touched her behind, but he chased after her, threw a drink at her, and called her stupid, <laughs> real, just classy stuff. Um, so that was one instance that apparently was like, no, you can't hit on a donor's wife. Can you stop? But even back in 2017, a pro-Trump singer, Joy really Villa, said Lewandowski guy. slapped her backside real hard at a holiday party. When Villa told him to keep her his hands to himself, Lewandowski reportedly told her, go ahead, I work in the private sector, and then smacked her butt again. I mean, I don't know why any of this should surprise any of us, and especially if there is any Republican woman watching. Yeah, this is your party. This is MAGA. This is the kind of dripping misogyny. Uh, that you elevate, that you elect. Uh, I urge you to elect better. And even when it comes to your so-called strong Back women, it. like Pope Hicks, like, you know, uh, uh, Christina eh, Governor, eh. they are belittled by someone like Ori Lewandowski. Uh, anyway, that is, that's all I have to say. Mark, we you know, we hear. I knocked around with that locker room talk that we heard so much about from uh, Donald Trump, but it's uh, pretty remarkable that he's able well, give me the with that White pass. House schedule to... Uh, carry on a, a marriage and affair and then have another affair with the White House staffer. Got to give that credit for uh, pretty much having no off switch. Uh, it's a grotesque uh, uh, hypocrisy. Uh, that, uh, I think no you guys both said very well. Yeah, so last thing yeah, on this is, for an energy look, it, 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 his lack of respect magazine. for everyone is overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And then okay. eventually, he's sitting on the door of his wife, Christy Nome was also there. And that was like the one time she got mad at him and then refused to go on the next trip with him. <laughs> and then they got back together anyway. And I, if I'm Christy Nome's husband, I am livid. And apparently the reporting says he is livid. And yes, Lewandowski was fired after hitting on the donor because here. that might cost Trump money. He was distanced from Trump when he Trump found out about Pope Hicks. Those are two separate incidents. Everybody knows this in the Republican Party. All the sources are Republicans. And yet, it still Go goes on every day Christy Nome goes on and tells you how in favor she is of family values. It's a joke. I it's found joke it. played on their own voters. Thanks for watching the Thank Thanks. you. I needed that. Appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat, emojis, badges. You've got a bunch of me, Anna, John, JR. Okay, nine so squads left. Play back of our right. exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So, all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you. There's an extended this video is sponsored by Warner Brothers. I built the secret back cave that most people will never find. Okay. At the back of this container is my secret back cave. Did I seriously just build a back cave just for YouTube? Well, kind of. You see, ever since I started this YouTube channel, I've got to volunteer a matter of time or some sense of billionaire approached us to build him fantastic gadgets. I've got a jump tower, but I'm going to be here. I got one, too. So, if you want something done right, I can use that. Well, dang it. Shield battery here. Laser phone. Attention. Yeah. 
So I'm going to move there. I don't, I don't know where these guys are at. They're behind us. They're back. I just saw them pushing this way. Feeds beneath is crappy. In the building, I hit he hit one of my gas traps. One of them is beneath you. I don't know where the where the rest of them are at. I only saw one. There's a second one coming in. Yep, he just came off the uh, He caught got me. Obviously, we're in bad suits and. Job. I was still fighting somewhere. They're back behind us. They're not coming this way. Oh, well, that was like. Next thing it drops would be a gold shield. We gotta move. We're getting caught. In this. Yep, there's a team right in front of us. There's two. There's three yeah, there's teams right here. Three. One there. One there. Ten seconds. There. Let's just go right. Yeah, there's there's two teams fighting. I think there's three teams. Yeah, I think so. Somebody watch it. Hurry up and on that. I'm gonna start. Okay, stop them coming sure this way. Lots of health around. That's just us and them. And they got to put us. You want to get in now? Or? Uh, yeah, I think we hit go and watch for them. Because they're going to come around that corner. They were back fighting. They're not up this way. <laughs> that one's been looted. Phoenix kit, red gun, and uh, whatever, med kit. This 3D printer is the real thing. It's called the Pancake. And if the name's not cool enough by itself, it's from a Canadian company. And this thing is built like a full CNC machine. Hey, we're here, somebody. Really Here's somebody moving. Yeah, the hut's back in here. Uh, 
tons of screen real estate, and is a centerpiece of super amazing city from the pandemic. You just got skin. You just got to take people out around and put them in the container. Like for example, you just got a 40 foot empty container weighs about 9,000 pounds or almost 5,000 kilos. And well, tonight's having them right here by the shop to work on the back cave, we've got a move. So me and Mike came up with an idea that we're hoping will work. So these are the giant Well, you're looking this way down low, watch out. The third one pushing the final one, in the lab. Once I said that ready, I and I use the and then go Oh. All right, bro. I mean, they were right there, gonna push me. So whether I try to get you up or not. Second place, ain't bad. After hundreds, if not today, I used the most intelligent AI to beat the most clone of myself. But my brain too far, too many thoughts. Yeah, yeah, is how I did it. You know, I like you. You like me. Let's try this now. What we're doing today is we are actually going to be creating an AI version of what? Or should it should it be Yuna? Pregnation, pregnancy, pet, pet. Okay, let's do pet. short and sweet. For the description, tell me, chat, how would you describe me? You can't just be a fire truck. You know what? Fine. A short fat truck with many complexes. Wow, okay, guys, I, I'm pretty sure I've become pretty quiet over the course of time. She is hard working, thank you. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, I can't type today. Hi, people, cats and collar sets. Oh, fuck you, man. The day water drinking cost my whole dancing laid off <laughs> They don't know that I see that dog good with time. Is that, is that right? She loves jars. Is that the best way to put it? You can't be sexual, sexually attracted to jars, chat. You forgot beautiful? Oh, fine. I am beautiful. No, dude, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not about this AI to be conceited. She looks like Mantis from Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay. I feel like this is a roasting session and not actually an accurate description of me. She loves spicy food. She created Coleco, the VTuber. He probably got it. That's true. Relationship. I think he should with her community. Can you? Like, constantly. Okay, but. Okay. She gets love. So, take for the community and I just. Fine. Be. And just get what I'm done me. Being good for the not me. I'm sorry. I'm just cute. I know. Okay, I'm coming up to the corner. Okay. Fine. What? That's true. Safety policies. Uh -oh. They're not fun. Wait, really? Yep. Arts. There we go. Arts. Arts. Let's go. What kind of attitude would you describe my dialogue? Okay, I asked I want that Korean food, kimchi, jalapeno, spicy, so good, love it. That's not what? Are you alright? This is not like me at all.
You brave friend, but happy. Yay. <laughs> Spicy food. Well, two hours. I mean, two minutes. No, two hours. I mean, show you some. I think it's not salad. It's the salad me on. Oh, wait. This salad decoration. Let's try a little bit. Okay, I mean, street? Isn't it? That's a little. Okay, to be bald on this is so much. So much. Can I have some crap? Let's look. Uh, like fireworks. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's not um, I'm not two hours late. I love cats. Oh, wait. Go and see. Where's Jordan? I don't sound like a fire truck. <laughs> um, I'm not two hours late. I love cats. Oh, the cat hair. What does it mean? I'm coming. I'm coming. Who is this person? I, I don't know. Let me get chaos. Early. It's okay, hey guys. If you like this video and you want to see more, hit that like and subscribe button. If you think I'm fun. Waiting instructions. Hey, we're so close. Oh, sure, the fuck? Great, Apple's so great. It just fucking shuts off in the middle of that. Really awesome. Enemy force detected. Can I afford it? The answer is yes, it's free. But the true question is mentioned on the one thing. Can I afford to be without it? Oh, this guy's like the salesman. You lie, Shane. You're here. 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 That sounds like a good quality. He's just a he's just a scammer that gets him asked you. I'm really impressed by how you always get caught for your scam and beat up. Huge thanks to WB Games for sponsoring this video. I'm sure all of you know I'm a huge fighting game enthusiast and my favorite fighting game franchise is Mortal Kombat. So I'm happy to say NetherRealm Studios has absolutely cooked up their latest entry, Mortal Kombat 1. It's available right now to get the premium edition, but if you'd rather wait for the standard edition, it comes out on the 19th of September, so only a couple days after this video goes live. If you do get the premium edition, you also get access to Combat Pack 1, which gives you Quan Chi, Ada, and Ermac, as well as guest characters Peacemaker, Omni Man, and Homelander. When they're released, of course, Mortal Kombat 1 is a reborn universe created by Fire God Liu Kang, and I absolutely love it. I think this story is super good, so I'm really enjoying it. So, yeah, yeah, thanks again to WB Games for sponsoring. It's available now if you get premium edition or on September 19th. Standard PS5, Xbox, PC, Nintendo Switch, the whole thing. So make sure you click the link in the description of the video for more information. Problem solved, sir. Airborne. That's an interesting smile. That looks like a team. What is happening? That must have tuned in. He's like, we need that. Are we gonna have a bar fight? Oh, let's go. Main turret critically damaged. Instead of fighting each other, how about we just fight Torpedoes people with the bar? Whoever causes the most catastrophic The ship is on fire. We'll hold below the water line. We're flooding quickly. <laughs> You dirty bastard. That dollar belongs to Madame Bo. Oh, hey, hey, now, hey, now. Fighter airborne. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Not in bold. Christ, she's like 105 years old. Have mercy. Can, can you stop running into my clip real quick? Hit it once. I don't think it's like a B and B or anything. Might have been. Dragon's all here. <laughs> Well, the last guy was teleporting. Was that not impressive to us? Or like, this is more impressive than teleportation? Uh, okay, so that's what this was. It's... Easy, perfect combo breaker was. Clean. Easy, six hit combo. Working the cameos in there now. Looking like an absolute prodigy. Hey, Liu Kang. Make him prove that he's God. Make him grant a wish. Indiana Jones cameo would go so fucking hard. They have some great DLC. Like Robocop should want. It, Like, Indiana Jones is not that far-fetched. But not like young Indiana Jones. I'm talking like current day octogenarian Indiana Jones. I mean, she kind of fucked me up. Wow. Awaiting instructions. No. photo in 2010 I didn't have a studio I didn't even have my own place I, I lived at home I used my brother's old room and my dad's backyard to make the majority of my videos I should also mention I had a home away from home to make videos thanks to Alan at Alan's camera so I never envisioned getting to a place where I had my very own standalone studio honestly I was so focused on just creating every day that it didn't really cross my mind there's something to those original videos shot at home. They were raw, they were shorter, and I made a new one every single day. I pretty much was vlogging before vlogging was even a thing. I never sat in the backyard or in my brother's room and was like, man, I wish I had my own space. Home was safe, home was easy, and home was free for all intents and purposes. But at some point, it becomes time to fly the And in 2012, I moved into Philly, where I rented a 2,600 square foot loft, aka the Penny Dropper, as some of my late friends like to call it. And for the next year, I lived and created hundreds of videos in that space. 
But fast forward a year from there, my lease was not going to be renewed, and it was time to look for a place to buy that I could make all my money. Oh, so after a long and arduous search, and, and by long and arduous, I, I really mean I made an offer on the very first place I looked at, truth be told, I was $20,000 short on the down payment. But the good news is, I released the Bronos Photo Guide to getting out of auto around that time, and thanks to everyone who purchased it, I was able to make the down payment, and then some. This brought us into the loft number two here, which saw me once again living and working in the same space, day in and day out. Now, I lived alone, I pretty much worked alone until Stephen joined part-time, followed by full-time. And we used every nook and cranny of that space to create content. We filmed podcasts, portrait shoots, critiques, user guides, and so much more. But around 2015, with two full-time employees coming to my house every day to set up shoots, and then breaking down the sets before we left, it was finally time to consider a real deal standalone studio. That's when I found the Throwback. Torpedoes astern. A raw shell of a building with major potential. No longer would we need to break down sets every day. We could build it out any way we saw fit. And for the last seven years, we did exactly that. There's the photo news set with its awesome background of vintage cameras and signs. There's the store set for reviewing gear inside a camera store, a comparison set, user guide set, my actual real working desk, desk set, there was Fall Talk, which we streamed live for many years, along with some other random sets that we built when we needed to make a one-off video. And then there's this set, the one that we break out when something more serious happens and we want to make that type of video. This building made us feel like we were running a real business. It allowed me to personally create some separation between home and work and let us create a solid foundation to build upon. We've accomplished so much in what seems like a short amount of time here at the Pro Factory. Honestly, it's kind of amazing the journey that I've had as a YouTuber so far. I went from my backyard to the first loft, to the second loft, the Pro Factory, and now onto a new amazing space with endless possibilities. So what will we be doing with this new space? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Eighteen ninety six Edison Company Annual Co
Let me discord fucking douchebags are gonna try to drop their shit in here. Fucking Lizzo. I noticed something about your channel I'd like to talk EA to you about. Sports. It's Only if you come to my discord. Congress, Coney Island, New York. The electricity men sit around the table talking about transportation. This engineer, teases one Edison employee, has built a quadricycle run by gasoline. <laughs> Everyone then turns toward that young engineer, including the man at the head of the table, Thomas Edison. Is it a full-stage combustion? asks Edison. The engineer, a young Henry Ford, breaks into a sweat. He's extremely nervous, and rightfully so. After all, Edison is an electricity man, and likely favors electric vehicles. But still, Ford gets up and presents Dennis, sketching out his engine while explaining the combustion process. How gas is an improvement over electricity because batteries are far too heavy and drain in cold weather. Then suddenly, mid-conversation, the old man rises and slams his hands down at the table. You've done it. He's just convinced Edison that the future will be gasoline-powered. And it is Henry Ford who will assemble that future at the rate of one car every 93 minutes. <laughs> Thanks so much to Henson Shaving for modernizing how I keep my face smooth. Here's an eye-opening thought. Henry Ford was born just after the Battle of Gettysburg and lived to see the beginning of the Cold War. Of course, in that span of time, the world changed in almost unbelievable ways, often as a result of his own innovations, and not always for the better, as we'll discuss in future episodes. Later in life, Ford would become almost painfully nostalgic for the era of his childhood and spent millions building open-air museums of its buildings and artifacts, among which is an unassuming farmhouse, painstakingly furnished to the smallest detail, even with the drawers curated so they contained the precise objects he remembered in them. It was the house of his childhood. And despite this aforementioned nostalgia, also a house he had hated. Henry Ford's father had fled Ireland during the Great Famine and settled on a farm in Dearborn, Michigan. His mother was a second-generation immigrant from Belgium raised by Irish neighbors when she was orphaned. And despite his parents' hard scrabble stories, they'd become successful and prosperous farmers. So, though not wealthy, young Henry Ford was never truly poor. There was always enough work to go around, which actually turned out to be a problem for young Henry because, man, he hated farm work. It was repetitive, physically taxing, and isolating. He despised horses, calling them dangerous and ill-tempered, and found drinking milk repulsive. He even considered chicken meat unfit for human consumption. Not to mention, young Ford was infamous for shirking his farm duties. About an hour into each day's work, Henry would usually go back to the house for a drink of water and then disappear. They'd find him later taking apart someone's watch. Now, most farmers of the time would have punished this behavior, but Ford's parents, his mother especially, indulged him. They set up a workbench where Ford could tinker and bought him tools. Still, his father's expectation that Ford one day would take over the farm strained their relationship especially after Ford's beloved mother died when he was 13. That was one of two big changes that happened in Ford's early life. The other, when he first saw the engine. Fall, 1875. Henry was helping his father bring in the harvest when they see it coming down the road atop four wheels. A portable traction engine, meant to be hooked up to threshing machines or sawmills to power them. And in a clever innovation, the machine was <laughs> propelled. There are chains leading the cart rolls slowly along the dirt road. Ford immediately stops the engineer and bombards him with questions. Who makes the machine? How fast can it go? How big is the boiler? Henry is 12, and he's just glimpsed a future where not only the tedium of farm labor can be eased, but where he can leave this farm behind on motor-driven wheels. Well, I must that say, it's always a pleasure left. to be at this fantastic later, venue, 16, the Metropolitano in the Spanish capital, Madrid. I'm Derek in Ray, ready here on the commentary freedom. position, the and alongside me is the former American Arsenal, West Ham, and commentary midfielder, Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's Spain facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? Or who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Attending here as defensive chores. Here's the lineup for Spain. Kepa stands between the posts. Emery Laporte plays alongside Nacho Fernandez in central defence. And Morata is the main striker for this match. 
his horrible cooling had stopped and he great and contained little bit and the look at the starting 11 for manchester well, city Ederson begins in goal john stones plays with kyle walker as fullbacks rodri plays with kevin de bruyne in the center of the pitch and leading the line today is erling Haaland. well who will be the player to decide the outcome to determine the course of events no reason at all why it won't be this man stewart what do you anticipate seeing from him the ability for the ball oh hang on stewart big chance here and a decent save for brennan he was adept enough to get hired by Westinghouse to fix similar machines. The repair was a fancy a short one. He used his problem solving abilities while giving him large blocks of time. And to play for a Spain throw in. He did, mostly with motors. He repaired an internal combustion engine, which helped him see the potential of gas and even building the engine. And it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Most convincing a fancy fracture player Bryant to Perry. She did so with the knowledge that she wouldn't really see much. He worked 69 days, but they matched each other well. She listened with Ford, talked about his experiments, and had seemingly endless reserves of patience. Case in point, on Christmas Eve, 1893, Clara had her hands full preparing him to her for guests while also watching their six-week-old song. Nice. But that in We had it on target, but it was never going to trouble the keeper. The same, and asking her to feed a gaff as he turned the crank to make it run. Now, Roth, who is married, has some advice. Significant Never acreage for a city to run into. Clara, however, gave him serve as a system. Just a like crucial intervention the inside the box. Schools, the job changes and the very strange things going on in that ship. Holland? By Holland! Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful company, save. Detroit, repairing the engine that powered much of the city's life. Who can that they pick out? His experiments were increasingly centered around internal combustion engines with pressure. And now, look at the Rob, celebrations. Now, Rob, who is has some advice. Later, taking apart someone's watch. Now, most farmers of the time would have confident and willing to exaggerate his experience of it. For the next decade, Ford worked a string of jobs, building his knowledge base. Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it, which American makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Actually, and it's a really good goal. But to walk me nine miles to the city. Detroit was another world like the city. And they're underway again here. Where were they on the score? Or a one of the machinists, especially one like Ford, who was socially adept, confident, and willing to exaggerate his experience of it. For the next with Mikel Marino. Ford worked a string of jobs, building his knowledge base and his reputation as a skilled machine. This attack machines, looks highly promising. He saw goals where he could learn and experiment. And Marat is in the vicinity. Those that of older equipment he could try out and examine, or that included well, large keep amounts possession of outside, where he could mess around with the parts he had hit. Grealish. Cooper from his workplace. And apart from a basic business course, Grealish. this was Ford's education. His formal Options cooling had stopped and he craved and contained little that would prepare him for an industrial career. Well, that doesn't mean he didn't shoot. What the fuck are you doing? A form of early textbook that taught an uncritical ethos of American progress and capitalist economics that Ford deeply internalized while also containing some. Who the fuck? You can see that you can see the big ship in the water. What the fuck? And then it's a piece of wood. That's a very good job. You have to say. And the skills progressed quickly. My ball is moving again. Two nails have it stands. To work a Westinghouse engine for a season, he was adept enough to get hired by Westinghouse to fix similar machines. The repair was his favorite type of job. Is it going to end up being productive for them? While giving him lunch, lots of time to take it. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Like that's not where I pass the ball anyway, so this is stupid. This fucking game is so dumb. Fuck you, you little bitch. No slide tackle all the time, final fucking slide. Flopping it on the sink and asking her to feed it gas as he turned the crank to make it run. Now, Rob, who is married, has some advice. Carvajal. Never do this, particularly when there are knives within easy reach. Clara, however, gamely served as a sister. Just well, like I'd rather think he was houses. caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his boss. He showed a complete ship. lack of awareness Thankful. there. By 1891. 
Ford had a steady position at the Edison Aluminum. No possibilities in the center. The entry, the power a very timely the interception. That was just for money. His Opportunity it is. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Which was shown by the incredibly metal main explosion. De Bruyne firing is over. Oh, great header. Smart stop though. Oh, another corner. Hot on the heels of the last one. But the field Not really the ideal clearance. No one knew what to call anything. In fact, Holland, the first ever Holland, in the United Holland. States. And there it is! This is unbelievable. Piece of finishing. People call them meant things. Some still familiar, others still. Ranging from horseless carriage to gasoline wagon to motor carriage. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets into the ball first, and it's a good finish. Unless he's threatening to get out of hand, just look at the scoreline. Ford's work fell in Starting out with the body of a car for a carriage. It's a perfect challenge. Better to upscale a bicycle with its light spoke wheels and rubber tires. Then go to carriage seat on it. That's the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Shed, crafting a vehicle he called. Can the they keep it going? Wires. The car he would describe to Thomas Edison. But now it's June 4, 1896, and he is done testing. Unable to wait for the seat carriage he ordered. Mikel Marino. Ford decides to take his first drive on the progress cycle. And it's won by Emery Laporte. Watched by a very high camera and that's even the instant behind for him to chase. But then suddenly stops. Oh no. There's a variable he never accounted for, despite two years of testing. It's too big to fit the Run it well. Not to worry. Well, we're almost at the halfway stage, and they're not making home advantage work for them one little bit here. Stuart, to your assessment, this has failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately. The four horsepower engine speeding him along as he turns off the alley into the street at a sweet 10 mile An incisive pass. A friend rides ahead of the And take it away. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. But within the year, Will yes. they profit from this situation? Had a vision of a battle. Oh, in with a chance! A car that can not only enter the next great American motor race, but a car that can And the cross not quite imaginative enough. The level of innovation and precision manufacturing of high quality products that could be produced on a scale to keep them affordable. And that is a mindset that today's sponsor is in shape. A family run aerospace machine shop that they want to have a sharp pivot has definitely been. Now that would be straightforward for any keeper. The long range of today shows strength because all of these big companies that make the quantity of the example of how to press. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. prices for something that you have to buy over and over and over again. Well, thanks to Hence Chaining, I never have to put up with that crap again. Because they take the ball from De Bruyne. From parts for things like the Mars rover and the ISS. To and a goal to seal the hat A, a masterclass in finishing. Just instead of making cheap handles and then charging you a bunch of cash for replacement cartridges, Henson instead crafted a precision engineered safety razor designed to hold the blade at exactly the optimal angle of 30 degrees from your skin. Then combine that with how securely...